This manufactured wheat we will get. The choir. Yes. Oh yeah, are you, are you guys hunting for bread? Yes. <laughs> Getting all the bread, okay. So they say, oh, I only see uh, four of you on roll 20. Uh, and Lokun is a green splat on my right way. now. There he is. All right. <clears throat> so, is it a special kind of bread? It's very sp the, the money bread, I think. Uh, it's white bread? <laughs> Jeez, here the we go. Dread bread. Ooh. <laughs> it's white bread, okay. Wait, wait, Why are bread. Are we talking about bread? Wait, bread. Wait, bread. All right. Uh, so, uh, who am I still missing? I think I'm just missing uh, Oscar. Oscar and Lokun. Or no, Lokun's here. Um, no. Uh, getting there. All right. Well, while we're doing that, I'll get the. Uh, well, let's do the uh, recap. Uh, Lokun, do you want to give us a quick rundown of last game? Sure. Um, so, uh, last game, we resumed. Uh, in the middle of a fight with a bone monstrosity. Basically, it came out of the pile of bones and walked past it, uh, suspecting nothing, and it came up on us. Uh, we defeated it, but uh, when it blew up in, into some shrapnel, uh, shredded Spinderella um, into oh, pieces, yeah. and Carl's gonna... Carl has fed an, yet another beast to the, to the meat grinder. Um, <laughs> we learned from Lyra that uh, these bone monstrosities are servants of Orcus. Ooh. Um, we took a, a short rest and studied some runes, and they're pretty similar to the runes that we found uh, beneath the Iron Tide mining base back in the valley. Oscar saw some dwarven statues. They seem really old from the 12th cycle. Moved on through the barrels and trepid uh, uh, bravely. Um, and encountered uh, one of our greatest foes ever, uh, a heavy door that was stuck. Um, all of us tried to open it, and alas, uh, we couldn't, but uh, it busted open, and uh, some strange creature was on the other side. Uh, Barrett, you went down, uh, it sapped you of your life uh, instantly, pretty much. Uh, but Oscar got you back, uh, we slew it, uh, learned that it was a Bodak. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but those things are dangerous. Uh, went across a, a cryptic star, moved across it, tried some experimentations, and really just found that it couldn't uh, wouldn't let uh, my familiar through. Uh, but we went through. Barrett picked a lock uh, on the other side, um, and Oscar saw that the sign said it was uh, a laboratory. Um, the door opened, and we found. Uh, some skeletons, which you see on the map right now, uh, but they're kind of just staring blankly, and they seem to be glowing with some magic, uh, but they're not, like, uh, attacking us. Um, what else? So we found a bunch of stuff inside the lab. Uh, four potions, some vials, some components. Uh, inside the fireplace uh, to the northeast there, uh, we found that it actually has a secret panel in the back uh, with six buttons. Uh, I definitely want to give my uh, try that out, uh, but want to see if I can find out what the combination is. Uh, in the center of the room, you guys see a pillar. Um, it seems to channel magical energies. Uh, every time we cast something, it glows. And uh, I have some more ideas on how to get that. Uh, but the, the, the runes glow for just a moment, and then it dissipates. So um, I think we got to try something, some stronger spells there. Uh, anyways, this door to the west you guys see um something was knocking on the door i said nobody was here didn't listen to me it busted it open and a minotaur skeleton uh, uh burst through um did some spells uh, a bunch of them in that hallway are are uh, hypnotized um and we thought things were going pretty poorly but uh actually these uh, uh oscar's insects are wrecking havoc on these guys and uh so we're kind of uh going back into the fray and I uh, think we can clean clean this up um, in the middle of it uh, Narl, Narl um, uh, was shouting some strange obscenities about uh, the whites the weights and uh, yeah that's pretty much it all right thank you for the recap so it is uh, let's see siege breakers session 21 uh, what time was it it is currently 
uh, the 14th of autumn at 12.50 in the afternoon. Uh, I'll bring you in in a little bit, Jax, uh, as soon as I get a good opening. Uh, but for the meantime, uh, let's hop back in. And I believe it is Gnarl's turn. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Gnarl. Uh, most of the, I think, uh, yeah, most of them are down, your enemies. There's just the two charmed ones left. What do you want to do? Hmm. Wait, are you are all seeing everything on here? I'm not seeing anything. Who's this? Uh, Reiku. Oh, Elric? Elric. Uh, yeah. yes, you are in the background. There you go. Okay, there we go. Uh, you also might have to roll initiative. So why don't you do that? Okay, I can do that. <clears throat> uh, how do I roll for initiative again? Uh, Real highlight quick. your token. Go to my character. Yeah, highlight your token, then go to your character sheet and click on initiative. Initiative. All right. Uh, so I will. Uh, was your token highlighted? Was was? Did you click on your token before you rolled? Because I, I did not. All right. Yeah, you have to have I, your token clicked. Or else it hey. won't. My bad. That's fine. It's it's annoying. Okay. It's a uh, thing. So sorry. Uh. So yeah, just uh, click on your token. Make sure it's highlighted. Then click the initiative yeah, click button. Click on it. How do I? Okay. Use it. I click click on the token. Yeah. Yes. And then you click on and initiative then... in your character sheet while the token's highlighted. Oh, okay. So it associates while your the token is the token. Highlighted, okay. Alright, while well, the token is highlighted. Alright, yeah. Guys... There we go. Work that time. Are you... Wait. Are you guys. It, 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 it worked? Yeah, it okay. worked. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's up, Gnarl? Awesome. Are you guys getting a lot of feedback from Elric? Uh, is that just me? I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Hear anything? Oh, Eldric, make don't sure in your. Uh, well, I have my um, this my uh, set and receive from other players turned to zero. Uh, make okay. sure in audio and video, uh, you have both um, others can hear or see set to none, and I can hear or see set to none. And, yeah, on the on uh, the roll twenty, right? Yeah, on the uh, gear token yeah. roll twenty. Uh, I yeah, think that's it's on your side. That's, uh, yeah, okay. That's set. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and let me see. Is there anything else? All right. So are you still hearing it, or? It's reconnecting. Oh, okay. I was about to say I'm using a very quality mic oh. this go around. <laughs> my, it's my bad. All right, so that is that fixed? Yep. All right, cool. Testing. Okay, all right. All right, so Elric, uh, I lied. You were the first to act. What do you want to do? <clears throat> um, is there... Can I get through this doorway? I see this big yes. giant dead so thing. So there are a bunch um, of uh, skeleton minotaur bones on the ground, but you can walk it, around. Is it, is it just blocked? It's just difficult terrain. Blocking the door, or, or... It's oh, dead. Okay. yeah, it's, um, it's already hmm. dead. Okay. Uh, you can murder. I things. would like to take my movement first. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Movement. Yeah, we're gonna go in the, this corner right here. All right, uh, you'd have right to go a square there. south of that because that there. corner is the oh. uh, fireplace. But yeah, that's oh, fine. Oh, sorry. So right, hey, there. Okay. Will that work? Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, then I'm gonna fire off. Uh, what's this one at? A eldritch blast at. Let me see here. How do I ping? Uh, you click and hold the uh, mouse button, left button. 
click on the map and hold. There uh, we go. So that fire an eldritch blast. Yeah. That skeleton isn't currently hostile. Uh, the group has left oh, these alone. Oh, okay. Uh, the enemies that the group was fighting are in this hallway over here, and they are currently uh, oh, they're in the hallway, charmed or incapacitated. They're hypnotized. Uh, yeah. So, are there any active enemies that? Um... Uh, not currently I in the room. Shoot when that? we left off last time, uh, I mean, you can shoot at that one if you want. Yeah. Do you? Have uh, I don't want to turn any, anybody. Like, if it's non-hostile, then I don't want to mess with it. Okay. So. Um, yeah. What what's what's hostile? I I have a range I can see in darkness to to sixty feet, so I can see up to here, but I don't see anything on the on the screen. Uh, uh, so it's kind of at the edge of your vision, but you do see, uh, kind of the shadowy silhouette of something in the darkness over here. Uh, nothing you can currently see okay. is hostile. All right, then <laughs> let me see here. I was not expecting this. I was expecting a big fight. Um... Mo mostly spells. the uh, fight is done at this point, but we do still have some enemies that are charmed. Okay, I I'm just going to... Uh, uh, I hell, I don't know what to do. I just, I'm just going to get my turn. I don't... Take the dodge action. I don't know what the hell to do. Sure. Alright, so you dodge getting ready for danger. Uh, Gnarl, what do you want to do? Uh, you muted, Narl? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got you. Um, none of these skeleton or those whites tripped off this location, right? Or this uh, no. weak floor? Well, yeah, the whites uh, were solid. Right. But nothing that walked over that seemed to do anything to the cracked floor. Okay. So what is my running, jumping distance? Give me a second here. You can jump up to your strength score. In feet, okay. If you have a running, so system. not very far, not very far. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Can I see the closest? This like the closest I can get to being, um, on safe ground, perception wise. Uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, the cracks. Um, do you have not, or do you have a uh, survival? I do. Why don't you give me a quick survival check? Uh, so as far as you know, the floor is cracked, but you don't think it's structurally unsound. You could probably just walk over it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to just worry about size. I'm going to ready an action to thorn whip anything that comes in through this, uh, anything that comes close enough to my thorn whip distance, okay. any enemy. So you chant as you concentrate on your spell, getting ready to attack something that comes in range, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, War Banner, or yeah, War Banner. I'm gonna tell War Banner to. Uh, War Banner probably can't even reach there. Let me just measure. He is happily sitting on the alchemy station. Yeah. Uh, you know what? He's just gonna fly over his corner. Um, Ooh, all right. He flies he'll over be that. at a ceiling, and he'll dodge. Okay, uh, the swarm of insects go. They're just hanging out because they weren't given any further orders. Uh, Deathlock Wait is dead, so it lays there dead uh, and leaves initiative. So the other Wait is still charmed. Do you remember what the counter was at, Locoon? I thought we put one on you, but I don't see I have, it. Uh, I no, we didn't put wrong. one on me. I have... Three rounds, three yeah. Three more rounds. Three more rounds. Okay, so it is currently still charmed. Uh, Locoon, what do you want to do? Okay. Oh, well, are we just gonna stare at these things, or are we gonna finish them off? Um, Lyra says, I, will... "I thought we were falling back." Nah. Nah. Butt some heads. Finish them off. Jeez. Um, and uh, Locoon is going to ready a firebolt uh, when uh, is awakened by something. And uh, I'll tell tell um, 
tell the rest. I can only hold them on for maybe another couple rounds. Uh, Oscar, uh, few send your, seconds. Your, uh, that's it. All right. Uh, so that is it for Lokun. Uh, the Minotaur skeleton is still charmed. Uh, Barrett, what are you going to do? Oh, hello. Uh, Barrett is going to drink a greater health potion that he has. Okay. From so a long you, time ago. Uh, you grab the potion off your belt as an item interaction, unstopper it, and quaff it as an action. Go yes. ahead and roll 4d4 4 4 plus 4 if it's a greater. So 14, 14 points of healing. It's about average. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Uh, anything else? Uh, Barret's all four. Um, going after them still, since he's in such good shape. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's all about it. So he's going to bonus action. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Always coughing up blood. He's going to bonus action dash, so I can move twice my movement, which is only 30 feet because I'm... Remember, the dead and your allies are difficult terrain. Oh, no. Well, then I can move, like, five feet? Or no, probably right here. Since my movement is halved, because some people killed me. Just yeah, me. although you can dash as a bonus action, right? Because you're a rogue. Yeah. So, here? Okay. So you move up sure. a bit, uh, trying to rejoin the group now that you feel a bit better. Uh, you might also want to mark yourself as... Or, wait. Yeah, I think you're... Oh, no, you're just over uh, half health. So never mind, you're not wounded. Just over. Uh, Oscar. I am... Am I muted? Nope. Okay, cool. I'm going to command my buggies to block this hallway here and not let anything pass. Alright, uh, and what about your actual actions? Um, I am going to expend one of my wild shapes to bring Owly out. Okay. If I am able to do that. Uh, yeah, so there is a poof as your owl comes appearing seemingly out of nowhere. Ooh. And then, uh,. I'm going to tell Ali to fly over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get roll, ready. roll initiative for Ali. Oh. Cool. And we'll see. Uh, you tell him to fly over there. Uh, apparently, yep, the Ali is on it. So, are you all done? Uh, yep. Um, yeah, I'm going to stand exactly where I'm at and take the dodge action. Uh, was something Ali... Uh, a bonus action? Oh. <clears throat> Let me see. Maybe not. Find familiar, uh, I think is cast as an action. Well, it usually takes an hour, but I would assume summoning the familiar would be an action. Could be wrong. Uh, I think Wild Shape is an action. Yeah, Wild Shape is an action. So I guess I'm not going to take the dodge action, and that is my turn. Alright, so Owly flies over on the pot, uh, ending his turn. Uh, Elric, back to the top of the round, and actually, let me, uh, reorder. Alright. Uh, so... Um, so, I... Or, hang on, got, actually. How does uh, the wounded, uh, marker... Uh, well, hang on, actually, sorry, it's actually, uh, the wait's turn, since we went back to order. Uh, because it was the oh, top okay. of the round. Uh, it has one round left after this, so its turn ends. Uh, Lokun, what are you gonna do? Oh wow, nobody hit the thing. All right, I guess I'll just do it. I'll throw a fire bolt. Actually, I'll move up uh, so I can get a clear shot on him. Um, I have a clear shot from here, right? Yeah. Um, and I'll throw a fire bolt in there. All right, so you chant uh, something arcane fire, but uh, let's see, it's only incapacitated, so you don't have advantage. Uh, so it would just fly past as the creature dodges it. Alright, well, it's still there. As uh, don't hesitate. Just let's finish. That's my turn. Okay. So, Elric, now it's your turn. What do you want to do? Alright, uh, I just want to get my... a um... 
my marker set up. That's the wounded marker, correct? Yeah, the one that's on you is the wounded. Uh, marker. the half heart. Yeah. Sign. I'll make it. Okay. And which one is the uh, the one for two handed? Is uh, so that would be the, that I had on four because I I still have my my weapon. Um, that is a uh, two handed melee. Is this one? Two over the uh, double swords, so I put it on you. Uh, two. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire off a eldritch blast at this. Now that I know what, that we're 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 not getting out of here, we're we're, so we're gonna go ahead and finish the fight. That is uh, the one that's not hostile. All right. The one that is hostile is the one down the hallway. Okay. What? Down the hallway. Okay. Yeah. Which is hard for you to see because it's at the edge of your dark vision. Oh, now I'm getting feedback. Oh, man. What is that? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm getting some feedback from you, Elric. Yes. Okay, so I'm um, going to open there. Um, really one sec. Let me see. All right. Is this, is this better? Uh, yeah, it's gone now. It's just for okay. a moment. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, um, so I'm gonna move to here. Would I think this would let me see? Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, you could see it a little bit better. Okay, all right. Um, I'm gonna fire off my Eldritch Blast at that monster. All right, so you send two Eldritch Blasts going down the hallway at the creature as you finish your spell. Uh, why is it plus two? Oh, you are not blessed. So let me uh, let me fix. Oh, it did that, that thing again. Quick. Yeah. So I I think I know how to fix it. Um, that's weird. I thought we had fixed that one. Yeah, I thought time. I thought we had fixed it. Um, I also get a plus four to my um, my Eldritch Blast. I think that's on damage. Uh, plus four. Oh, you're talking about uh your uh, charisma bonus. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Uh, well, it should be worked into your macro, but just in case it's not. Oh, okay. Um, hang on a second. Let me look at your macro. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Plus seven. Uh, force damage. Uh, yeah, okay, so it is part of your macro. Uh, so okay, perfect. go ahead and uh, 15 would strike. So go ahead and click on the uh, Eldritch Blast in chat to do your damage. All right. All right, 12. Nice shot. All right, so you blast him with the first bolt as several bones uh, crack, but he's still in pretty good condition. Uh, second shot. Uh, roll again for it? Yes, because I believe you okay. get two shots at this level. Yes. Uh, yeah, 21 would strike, blasting him a second time. Uh, another good shot as you get him center mass for another 9. Uh, still not looking too wounded, though. Uh, anything else? Um, can I quicken another? Is that possible? Can trip or no? You can. Uh, if you have, uh, you have sorcery points. Ooh, um, okay, let me see here. Where would I see that at? Well, are you character? a are you a sorcerer? No, no. So you need sorcerer. Okay, yeah. I see. So if you're just a warlock without sorcerer, then, no. then you cannot. Okay. All right. So um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn then. All right. So unfortunately, the Minotaur skeleton is next, uh, and I believe uh, when you shoot them, the effect just ends. Right? There's no save. Uh, He's unhypnotized. So he looks angrily down the hall at Elric, uh, stomps his foot against the stone, and charges at you at full speed. Uh, and what he does at this point will depend on his speed. Uh, 40. Oh, yeah, so he could definitely get to you. Uh, so he rushes up at you, making a... Gore attack with his horns. I, uh, I had a reaction for a thorn whip. Ah, all right. Um, so as he's rushing down the hallway, uh, you spend your reaction and thorn whip. Yeah. Uh, I was going to spend mine on Hellish Rebuke. 
Uh, well, he has That's to if you get hit. Yeah, he has to hit you first. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, I, I figured he was going to get... All right, let, let's, let's see. All right, so 14 would strike as uh, you finish your spell and vines whip out from your hand, striking him for five points of damage. Magical piercing, yep. at least. Uh, he is unhappy about that. Uh, okay. oh, and mark yourself as using your reaction, please. Okay. Uh, he's unhappy about that, and he changes targets, uh, now coming at you, making a great axe attack. I got you, Elric. Oh, rolls double ones. Interesting. Huh. Uh, so oh, he damn. seems to trip a bit as he's coming down the hallway, stumbles, and you duck as an axe swings over your head, slashing into the wall, sending chunks of stone out. That's it for him. Uh, the owl goes. Oscar, did you want to give him a uh, command? Uh, distract the giant minute further to strand through the gate. All right, so the owl flies at him, pecking viciously, uh, giving the next attack advantage. Uh, Barrett. Oh, hello. Barrett will move. Uh, that would be like. With the bonus action dash, I think you can move, like, right here, probably. Okay. I don't know, because my speed is, like, double half. Yeah, like so it'd be normal more. speed. If you use your dash, it would be 30 feet. Okay. Uh, he probably has, he probably has some cover, though, but I can throw daggers at him, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll dagger him. Uh, yes, the first attack will strike. Alright, so he is hit for 19 points of damage with the sneak attack. Uh, as his bones begin to uh, shift from the psychic damage, and he is wounded. Rad. I'll throw another thing on him. My offhand. Alright, you throw a second psychic dagger, 22 will strike with that one as well. Uh, I don't, no sneak attack. No, so five. it would just be five. Uh, so he's looking pretty beat up from these attacks. Uh, anything else? Uh, no. Oscar. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is command my bugs to, well, Command one of my bugs to attack this guy and the other two to block that door. Okay. Um, yeah, you currently told all of them to go to the door, so you're going to tell one of them to go for him? Yes, please. Alright, uh, what else are you doing? And then I am going to pull out or scoot here, pull out my sling and launch a pebble at that guy. Alright, so you sling a rock at the creature 17 would strike. Uh, he is struck for six points of bludgeoning damage as several bones crack under the weight of the stone hitting him. Uh, he is still alive, though. Um, and that'll be my turn. All right. Gnarl. Uh, are you muted, Gnarl? Yeah, sorry. No worries. Um, all right, let me see here. Yeah, let's just hit this guy. I'm going to use my uh, staff. That's shillelagh, my shillelagh. And uh, do I get advantage on the stack, or is the advantage already used up? Uh, it was used already. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to take it off. Uh, 16 bludgeoning. would strike, uh, doing 16 points of bludgeoning as you cave uh, in his skull and snap his spine. And he falls apart, sending little bits of bone flying around the room. Blunt weapons seem to do pretty good damage on these bony things. Uh, anything else? That's the end of my turn. All right, a swarm of insects. Uh, this one comes up here bzz, and is just pe picking at the bones. Little bugs all over them. Uh, these ones fly over this way. Bzz. Uh, War Banner. Uh, War Banner is uh, chilling back here, just dodging. Okay. Zigzagging in the air. That's it. 
All right, so I believe the weight will shake his charm. He's going to float um, down the or move <laughs> down the hallway over to here. Uh, let's see how far can he go? Thirty feet. Uh, I think since he he's gonna be confused by all the insects, uh, I think he's just gonna go through them to here. Uh, that is it for him, Locoon. The right. insects don't get opportunity attack. Uh, actually, this one would. The other two would not, because they can only hit oh, things on their he square. Hit the square. So oh. as he uh, moves out, they will bite at him. And now, remind me, is this considered magical? Not at this level. Okay. So they would bite at him, but uh, nothing seems to happen. He just kind of moves through. Uh, uh, Lokun, what do you want to do? Lokun just uh, concentrates for a moment and sends a psychic uh, spike. A mind sliver. Alright, so you chant. Uh, is that a somatic spell? Look it up. Uh, it says component. Herbal. Just verbal? Alright, so yeah, just chanting. Uh, so it will make an int save. Trying to resist your psychic attack. Uh, 17, so I believe he has resisted it. Indeed. Alright. And uh, Mokun will shift over here, and that's his turn. Uh, Elric. Alright. <clears throat> um, let's see, so that guy's dead. So I'm going to go ahead and take my movement first. Okay. Let's go back here. And... I'm going to go ahead and fire off more Eldritch Blast. Alright, so once again you chance summoning Eldritch Energy, channeling them into yes. and I used, bolts. I used my sword, so I, I recently learned um, I can use my sword actually to... Um, uh, to use my magic through, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, um, that is so, correct. As your class, yeah. I believe it's a uh, focus for you. Yeah. Um, so I, I point my sword out and, and use that to cast the Eldritch Blast. Alright, so you send two blasts of force energy. Uh, the first one would strike. Uh, so that would be... Stop checking something. All right, so that would be 12 force on the first blast. All right. And 17 would strike. So what is the second blast? Another 12. Good rolls. Consistent. Uh, the creature looks wounded by the second blast as you uh, kind of strike him center mass, and uh, he is starting to fall apart. Anything else? Uh, that's, uh, that's all. Alright. Uh, the Minotaur Skeleton is dead. Uh, the Owl. Distract! Alright. It will distract him with a flyby. Uh, Barad. Hello, Barad. Thanks, Elric, for moving. <laughs> so you can throw brain <laughs> daggers at this guy. Pew pew. Alright, you send two psychic daggers. Uh, 20 would strike with the first attack. For 18 with the sneak. And he falls to the ground as uh, dark liquid leaks from his eyes and nose. Cool. Right. It seems like these guys went down easier this time than last time I remember fighting them. <laughs> yes, it's because the amazing Elric is here. Must be, must be. So the group is safe for the moment. Uh, Lyra says, uh, with with uh, Barrett as injured as he is, perhaps we should fall back for the time being. Fine. <coughs> <laughs> Elric looks at the blood, you know, all over his chest. Yes, uh, perhaps that would be the best option. Elric is real, also a little wounded, yep. Real quick, um... I have 10 temporary hit points for some reason. I don't know if uh, when the bear turtle drop last, 
So I still think those are real, right? Yeah, those are from Oscar. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Baron, are you are you wounded or or not? I'm currently not wounded, but I'm a little tired, being thrown right. around a little. You do see he is limping, and he seems to be a bit da- dazed from the uh, the near death experience from the fear overloading his senses. He has two levels of exhaustion. Gotcha. Um, kind of want to try something here before we get back. Um, pillar. I wonder if uh, I can power this thing. Uh, I'm going to wander down this hall just past my bugs. Okay. Bring so, in. the hallway is 10 feet wide. Oh, and I think the bugs would poof out at this point. How long do they last? One hour. An hour. Oh, okay, never mind. So, they're here for a bit. Uh, you see a 10 foot wide hallway with kind of an archway or arch ceiling. Uh, that at the end of it there is a doorway, uh, and it also turns south here. Cool. Uh, I'll let Lokun do what he does, or I do anything else. So, what are you doing well, with the uh, the pillar there, Lokun? I'm just gonna ask the party. Uh, you guys mind waiting? Uh... Uh, like 10 minutes or something. Uh, my idea was to cast um, ritual spell. A well, leveled spell, basically. Sounds great. Um, I can wait. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, what spell are you casting? Might as well just do uh, detect magic. Uh, so you wait 10 minutes attempting to cast that as a ritual, but for some reason the spell does not function near this pillar and nothing happens. Uh, it's oh, now one that o'clock. Didn't work. Um, what do you want me to do? Anything else, or? I don't understand this magic stuff. Uh, I understand magic, but uh, this thing is a mystery to me too. Lyra, I'm not sure what kind of magic this is, but I I feel like. If we could go back into town and possibly study, we may be able to figure this out. She nods. She says, I do have several different books that could help us with this, though obviously uh, none of them are on me. Um, Have you tried casting anything but a cantrip uh, near it, Lokun? The tech magic was the first thing. Um, It seemed Mm -hmm. to just kind of fizzle out. Um... So she would walk up to it and chant, uh, quickly casting some kind of spell. Uh, when she does, instead of anything spell-like happening, the runes on it would light up. The runes. Uh, and stay lit for longer than six seconds. She says, hmm, it seems, uh, yeah, that higher level channeled magic seems to, uh, make it stay lit for longer. Almost like it's absorbing my spell power. Maybe I could do a tiny hut. Uh, That's a really long spell. I wonder if that could power it. So after about power goes to. After about a minute, it would then uh, stop uh, being powered. It would uh, no longer be lit up. This little line here. Did anything happen with these runes when? Uh, They lit up as well. Same as with the cantrips. Um, and do you think that anything or, uh, in character, anything might happen with the uh, panel, the hidden panel we saw when the runes light up? That's a good um, idea. She says, well, I didn't look, but yeah, that, that could be something. I'm getting a little low on magic, though. Here, uh... Uh, look, and if you're running low on magic, I have some magic energy left. So, I can uh, maybe cast rituals for free. Um, or not for free, but uh, I can 
I mean, if you like, I could always fire an Eldritch Blast at it. Well, from the what... Ships don't seem to do it. Yeah. yeah, from what we saw, the cantrips only lit it up for six seconds. Oh, Though six I guess seconds. we could... Uh, she says, I could cast a Firebolt in Locoon. Let me know if anything happens over there. Alright, go for it. I'm looking into the to the fireplace. Alright, so she, she would chant uh, summoning energy that she attempts to reshape into flame. However... The magic is pulled off her into the uh, pillar, which then once again lights up the runes. Uh, but you don't see anything happen in the fireplace. Okay. This so, is well. the last idea I have. It is uh, Demon's Tiny Heart. That's a pretty powerful spell. Um, you give that a whirl. All right. So and I'll spend some time. Yeah. You gonna try to do it as a ritual? Yeah. Alright, so once again, ten minutes would pass, uh, and at this point, you spent a lot of time here. I need a d20 roll, because you are in a dangerous area. Okay. From all of us? Or no, just... just from back, uh, one person. Uh, so it's 110, and once again, your can't, or your uh, ritual does not function when you finish it. Maybe uh, trying to do rituals near this pillar is impossible, for whatever reason. Hmm. Look, guys. So she. Says, uh, you, uh, you want me to uh, toss out? Toss out? Uh, uh, I, I I could use some of my magic energies on this pillar if we want to try. Well, what are we trying to accomplish? That is a good question. It seems like it's just sucking your power, making you weaker. I think uh, I was. I would be in agreement that. Uh, we need to do some research and maybe see what we can figure out. Cool. Mm. Okay. Fellows, uh, you want to pull back? Is, is that the uh, plan? Uh, I'd like to fly my owl down this hall just to see if there's anything down there before we pull back. Uh, he would Go tell you it. there is a closed door to the south. Another ah. closed double door. There's lots of closed doors around here. Seems like people don't uh, have an open door policy. Har, har, har. Oh, no one's been here for a long time, Lyra says. Oh, so was, you think they would a, want visitors? Was that a joke? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not very good at humor. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, uh, and retreat then? Yes, perhaps for now. for now. We could always come for back. Now, yeah. uh, as far as we know, the um, the uh, blood hand are not in this part of the tunnel. So, at least for the time being, these halls should be clear. All right. So uh, can I command my bugs to follow us on the way out? All right. So the group is leaving the area. Oh, who has poof. does anyone have religion? Uh Oscar I believe does, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So Oscar, you would know that the uh skeletons and the weights uh will give off a, an undead essence that can be collected if you have something to put it in. Ah, we do have vials. Does anybody? Yes. Good, good. Uh, I do Tons have seven empty vials. If... I have I have some vials. Cool. Uh, it would be great if we could work together to collect some of this essence. We never know Stop what it, we can use it for. Oh, right. we're leaving. Um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's why I deleted your token. <laughs> I was she, like, who needs to leaving my character? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so give me a quick uh, religion check to try to collect the essence of your fallen foe. Would you like me to collect it? Uh, I'll take up to two religion checks. Okay, let's see. Oh, good roll for Oscar. Uh, religion... It, it, they continue. I'm just waiting for that streak to end. Yes. Uh, I'm looking for religion. Now, do you want to... Uh, do you have two extra vials to put these in, or do you want to just combine them to make undead I, essence? I have... Uh, I have seven of the vials, so I think we can keep them okay, separate. Okay, no, if you have okay. it, that's fine. So you would get... Uh, 20 gold pieces worth of Minotaur essence. 
skeletal minotaur essence, sorry. And six, nine. Uh sixty gold pieces of uh deathlock weight essence. Which you can put in separate vials if you want. Just spend two vials. Uh, I'm sorry, that was sixty? Yes, yeah, sixty uh deathlock weight essence. Thank you. Alright, so the group heads back into the caverns uh, and into the burrows. Real quick, can I have a question? Uh, this, these, where we were was like uh, the temple in between our tunnels and the Bloodhands tunnels, right? Essentially? Uh, yeah, the Halls Loop of Tarsus time. is where you were. Now you head back out, and uh, I assume you're going back towards Blackwater's uh, estate. Please. Alright, so you don't have a map, but uh, Lyra does know the way. However, these tunnels are dangerous, so I de uh, need a d20 roll to see if you make it back without encountering something. Just anyone. Alright. So it takes you about an hour, uh, but the group would make it back to the Blackwater Estate unharmed. Uh, so you get back to the basement where his guards have the gates locked. Uh, as you approach, one of them uh, calls out, Who's there? Identify yourselves. These breakers. My, uh, so he, he kind of uh, extends the torch out looking into the hallway. Uh, as you start coming down, he nods as he sees you and he says, Move forward. Keep your weapons away. And uh, you would come back into the estate, re-entering town. All right, so the group is currently at the Blackwater Estate. Uh, it is 2.10 in the afternoon. You see all the other mercenaries around. Uh, a couple of them say hi to you. Blackwater does not seem to be here at the moment. What does the group want to do? Hmm. Um... Lyra, let's um, let's take a look over those um, those books that you have. Me and me and you will do some research. See we, if we can figure out what's going on with that pillar. She nods. She says, uh, "All right." Uh, so you two are looking at some of the books. Uh, is anyone else working on anything? Uh, is there is a way that I can start researching how to turn this chitin into armor or shield? Uh, so it's a little late in the day to do downtime because uh, you need eight hours. Uh, I mean, you could just for um, for uh, cosmetics say you're working on things. It's just you won't get any effect for today. Uh, but unless you have something that takes less time. Uh, but, uh, cool. yeah, what, uh, I guess for the rest of the day, because I assume you're going to try to rest up for Barrett and, uh, uh, Elric, what do you all want to do? Um. Oh, uh, one other thing. Uh, the manor received a message from Shock saying that he would like to meet you all for dinner at the Maplewood tonight. Sounds nice. like we're going to the Maplewood. Can I find a, a creature in the grasslands? Uh, yeah. How long does that take again? Uh, it doesn't take me any specific amount of time. I just have to have, like, after eight hours, it becomes, like, a charmed animal. Oh, okay. Overnight uh, or so whatever. So the terrains around here are forest, caves, and uh, plains. So what type of animal are you looking for? Uh, give me, like, two minutes. Sure. I'll look it up. Run okay. away, animals, run <laughs> away. <laughs> uh, do you think I would be able to go to... Ooh, that might be... I was going to say go to the uh, market to see if there is a uh, staff of healing I could purchase. Okay. Uh, a staff of healing? Uh, no, you're probably not going to be able to find okay. one of those, especially here. Uh, no magical I mean... stuff. So, yeah, the uh, the town of Char is kind of a small border town. I mean, there 
On occasion, there might be some private seller who comes through trying to sell magical items. If you really cool. want, you can use a week of downtime to try to find something, but it's I'm extremely bet. unlikely that you'll find a magical item here. You'd want to go to High Guard cool. for something like that. Cool. Uh, then maybe I will go with Gnarl to help him find a new animal to murder. Oh, damn. Um, whenever, whenever me and Lyra get done, I'd like to go check up on Melody and see how she's... Um spending the funds given to her okay making sure that she's setting up you know all right so oh, let's maybe you should uh, take care of it with you <laughs> let's fast forward a bit through the day um i'll say uh melody is still in the process of setting up her shop i believe uh, all but right. you would find uh she has um like a little uh, mm. tent being put up in the marketplace uh, where she has a bunch of supplies and uh, she's kind of making some uh, potions, brewing uh, some potions for help in her work when she starts. Uh, she would be happy to see you. Uh, Excellent. Did you figure out what animal you're looking for, Narl? I would love to find a uh, giant frog. That'd be kind of cool. A giant frog. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so you're looking for something in the plains, right? Uh, that would be in the forest. In the forest. All right. Nora wants that big toad energy. Big let me, toad. <laughs> let me do a quick look at the forest biome. Uh, give me a quick nature check. Uh, nature or survival or or what uh, nature sir, can yeah, Oscar you can, help me you can do survival uh can Oscar help what's uh, the cr of animals you can charm up to a quarter one one fourth one fourth all right 13 oscar help me uh yeah sure oscar you can roll survival too i, think I them. did roll 19. right before you did all right so uh, you do, in fact, come across a giant frog. So I'm going to need some animal handling from the two of you so you don't get eaten. Oh, there you go. Nice. Right. So, Gnarl, you are able to get a giant frog, uh, which Sweet. is at least following you around and not trying to eat you at the time. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I'm going to fast forward a bit to later on in the evening. Uh, you would head down to the Maplewood. It's probably around 6 o'clock. Uh, and when you get there, the bartender recognizes you as well as uh, a bunch of the people at the bar. Uh, they all greet you. Uh, Siege Breakers, welcome back. Uh, and they're kind of asking you about what you've been doing, like what's been going on. Uh, but you would see Shock kind of over near the private room and kind of motions you all to come on over for sitting down. And, uh, yeah, talking. Right, we head over there. Yeah, Barrett is yep. also gonna proceed. Are we all together now as a party again? Uh, I would assume so, unless you don't okay. want to be. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so as you get to the back room, uh, the area, you're pretty... Like, you, you've been back here a few times. Uh, you see there's some food set out. Uh, and there is a figure back here who you haven't seen before. Uh, Jax, what would you look like to them? Um, hmm, good question. So, uh, I probably wear, um, studded leather armor, but mostly covered in, uh, purple and, uh, like red very fanciful clothing. Uh, clearly, I am some kind of entertainer. Um, it, it's like the colors really pop, and so um, yeah, you would fancy. you would recognize me as some kind of um, uh, performer. Uh, does anyone have? Hmm, what would be a good way of knowing this? Uh, I guess. Uh, does anyone or give me in checks? You some of you may actually recognize him. Uh, nope. Nice, <laughs> Norl. Norl. Uh, do you have anything that would identify your background? Like your family? Um, 
my family, no, absolutely okay, not. So not I like, would have, okay. No, I, uh, I would have um, <clears throat> like a, a short bow uh, leaning against the the table. I have uh, a rapier on a on a belt, also uh, leaning against the table, and there is a smallish drum uh, sitting on the ground next to me. All right. Uh, let's go to the other room just real quick. I want to ask you something in private. Sure. My, it's never been... All right. Uh, so there is actually someone in the group who has nobility background. Uh, okay. I was thinking maybe he might recognize you, uh, but I want to check with you and see if that's something that might be an interesting, like, side hook. Or would you rather just not have that for now? Um, yeah, I mean... Hmm. Actually, no, like, may maybe um, we'll do that later. Like, we can always say, you know, oh, like, um, like they didn't recognize me because of my beard or something. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather have that revealed later. All right, fair enough. Uh -huh, All right. Uh, -huh. uh so nice. you uh um Barrett, uh you think you've uh and uh yeah, you think you may have heard of this uh performer uh who has a uh, somewhat known along the west coast of the empire. Uh but you have not actually met him in person. You think you know uh at least by his look, uh, that he is a somewhat famous musician. With the uh, 19 check. Uh, but was there anything else uh, that they would notice about you, Jax? Um, uh, not just from me, I think, uh, sitting there. Maybe they they have seen me around um, the town. I've been here for a day or two. Ah, yeah, um, you uh, actually, several of you, now that you look, might recognize him as a uh, bard who's been playing in the tavern. That's true. He's a West Coast rapper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alright, <laughs> so uh, what would Elric look like to him? Um, Elric is a six-foot half-elf, red hair, covering his ears. Um, I have studded leather on. And I have a uh, robe on over that with a hood that is currently down. Um, very elven-esque features. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I would look like. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about Barrid? Hello. Uh, Barrid looks like a pretty handsome guy. That's all. Pretty normal. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Definitely no brain daggers. Uh, he has no obvious a, brain daggers. Nope. He wears a hat, <laughs> like a wide brim hat, and uh, mm -hmm. he has a big, fancy cloak that is uh, all patchy and colorful. Uh, but other than that, a handsome random dude, unassuming. No, un no identifying marks. Nope. <laughs> uh, what about Gnarl? Narl is, you wouldn't know this, but Narl's actually also incredibly handsome. Uh, but only to <laughs> other orcs. Only to other orcs. He's got some uh, scars. It looks like battle scars um, on his body from, from taking a lot of hits. But he carries uh, no weapon, it seems, other than a longbow attached to his back and a kind of an unassuming wooden staff at his side. Um, he hefts a shield most of the time when he's not when he's in combat mode. or Otherwise, it's strapped to his back. Uh, wearing a lot of, like... Piecemeal armor. Um, it's he actually, he's actually wearing like uh, half plate, but it's like mixed in with a lot of like paints, like green green markings and camouflage to kind of give him a better better chance at at hiding. Um, looks pretty. He's actually pretty uh, wiry for his for being an orc. He's not super fit, um, but he looks like he commands some magic. He's a ranger um, and uh, has big ears and uh, the like a greenish skin. And, uh, yeah. All right, what about Lokoon? Uh, Lokoon is, um, probably the most handsome out of all this, this party. Um, and he has a scar 
No, he's not at all. He's actually probably the ugliest guy. He's actually a hobgoblin, if you're familiar with goblinoids. He's got a <clears throat> scar that runs down his face. Um, he's got uh, kind of a, a gray complexion, uh, big old pointy ears. Um, and uh, his eyes are kind of mismatched. One is kind of white, the other one's red. Um, he's wearing scale mail um, and a hooded cloak on top of that. And underneath, you see um, the scale mail uh, is kind of like an old faded uniform. Has no weapons. All right. What about Oscar? Uh, Oscar is a short, stout dwarf with uh, brown hair that's in uh, dreadlocks, mostly because it looks super dirty. And his beard is also kind of super dirty and dreadlocky. Um, his clothes are rather tattered and well worn they look like they've traveled quite a bit um he wears leather armor and carries a wooden shield and that is what you see all right so yeah these uh five individuals walk in uh shock would smile and say i wanted you all to meet my friend Jax. Uh, apparently he's heard a lot about you he says, uh, uh, yeah, yes, uh, uh, welcome, uh, you are the soon-to-be-famous Siege Breakers, uh, surely you must have, uh, you must have heard of me, uh, Jax the Magnificent, um, and, uh, I came here to congratulate you, I, uh, I decided to, to feature the Siege Breakers, uh, on my, on my next tour, um, and, uh, I, I will, you know, uh, compose a set of songs and ballads highlight your prowess and uh, spread your your fame and and your uh like heroical deeds across the west coast um uh you're welcome uh have a seat let's drink let's celebrate you you will first or uh, colonel kind of stands up he's like you'll have to speak to our campaign manager barrett uh, 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 yes yes barrett um <clears throat> uh, surely, uh, you know, we will we'll come to an, an an arrangement that's beneficial for all of us. I me a drink and you're in. Uh, <laughs> if, he wants, if he wants to write, you know, amazing songs about Elric Eldenspell, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Well, I can tell uh, yeah, you, uh, Shock would say, I can tell you that I have uh, seen him perform multiple times upon the uh, caravan routes. Uh, Jax is quite well known on the west side of the Empire, so I think it would be an honor to have him uh, compose some ballads of us. Well, definitely, definitely. We, uh, we're going to get some royalties from this. If you're going to be using our name out there, that's all well and well, all. Well, think, uh, think of it as um, a, a mutually beneficial arrangement. So, um, you give me material, I will spread your fame, and the more famous you are, the more money you will make. So, so I think you, you you're clearly benefiting from, uh, from my work. So, you're like a social media manager, is then? <laughs> yeah, in a in a way, in a way, I'm very very social. Um, He'll run your Twitter and, and account. I will, <laughs> I will run. <laughs> it's always good to have a hype man in your corner. So I'm told. Yes. And this new generation, their newfangled stuff, like. Just don't get it, but uh, sure, sounds good to me. Can't argue with that. But uh, amazing, we still require a drink. So, uh, yep, yeah, uh, barkeep. Uh, That's all. all right, so there is a one round of your best and cheapest wine, please. There is a uh, <laughs> young, there's a young barmaid kind of uh, waiting there. She nods and runs off to get some drinks. Uh, oh so... yes, yes, uh, Elvish, Elvish. Wine, thank you. Uh, they don't have Elvish she wine here. looks uh, a bit confused and says, "Oh, uh, yes, I'll, I'll see what wines we have." And she would go off to get some wines. All right, Excellent. So you and, all, uh, and I, 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 I wink at Elric and I answer in Elvish. Um, only the best for my Elven, Elven friend, of course. Ah, I, I answer back in Elvish. I was like, um, I did not realize you spoke my language. Uh. Shocks, a, a man I of have culture. No idea what you two are saying. No deal. 
I'm very cultured. You must have been around the realm quite, quite often, I would think, to learn that. Um, yeah, yes, I, I've, I've been around uh, many places. All right, so yeah, they uh, speak a little bit in Elvish. Uh, you all uh, talk a little bit as you sit down, and uh, Shock would start eating along with, uh, I assume, the rest of you having dinner together. Uh, we don't have to role play the whole dinner, but I'm happy to do some interactions as the uh, barmaid comes back. The wine she brings is definitely not elven quality. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's not very good. Uh, so, yeah, it seems like that's the best they have. Uh, what, I, just, uh, I just sit there and look at it, just with a pouty face. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What a well. What lifestyle upkeep are you doing right now, for your expenses? Are you doing uh, modest or um, comfortable? I, I think uh, I decided to do modest as well with the rest um, at the moment. Okay, so yeah, with modest. Uh, yeah, definitely modest. So with modest uh, lifestyle, then yeah, the the wine you get is eh, it's okay. Yeah, it's not okay. the best. Uh, yeah. but yeah, you you all would have some mutton and stew. Uh, you're sitting there speaking. You hear. Uh, the bar outside the room is getting uh, a lot louder as uh, the afternoon kind of goes into evening. Uh, you have dinner. Uh, there's a couple of knocks at the door, but Shock would just kind of tell the people to go away. Uh, unless you want the uh, the peasants to join you in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like uh, privacy. All right. So, yeah, Shock. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm due uh, for another performance in a... In, in, in about half an hour. Yeah, um, the, the people know. There, there's a lot of whispers, like, "Oh, the the siege breakers are here with the incredible jacks." Is like, there's a lot of hype outside right now, because uh, both of your groups are pretty well known. But Shock's playing bouncer. He's uh, just telling people to go away. Uh, so, do you want to do any interactions, or we do we just say that there was some small talk and uh, hanging out in here as time passes? Hey. I would like to ask Shock um, really quietly, though, um, if he's seen Chase on here. Who? Has he seen who? Shaith. Uh, uh, Shaith. Oh, uh, he says, you know, I haven't seen her. Uh, not for quite a while. I thought she'd be up at the Blackwater estate. Uh, Woken just shakes his head. Ah, uh, in fact, I uh, think um, she never returned there. And uh, I don't think Blackwater, I, until I asked him about it, uh, he thought he her for dead. Hmm, that's curious. Well, I wonder if something uh, got her on the way back to town. She seems unlikely, but I suppose you never know. Well, I she can. She came back with you guys, right? She did. Uh, I didn't keep track of her, though. Um, I wonder if she traveled somewhere else. I, I don't know. You know. All right. So he says, I know she got here, uh, but I wasn't keeping track of her afterwards. I just assumed she had gone gotcha. back to Blackwater's estate. Okay. Thank you. Nods. He says, me. "If I see her, I will let you know." All right. Yeah. So, anyone else uh, doing any interactions during dinner? I'm just gobbling my food up. All right. Yeah, I'm good too. I mean, I would definitely start um, asking the shield, uh, the seat breakers about, you know, their latest adventures and. and Oof, yeah. yeah. Cool. Skeleton minotaur as well. It's amazing. So just trying to find a, something that rhymes with minotaur. Just Tell him that tell him that uh, our most recent venture was uh, against the whites. <laughs> the awkward, awkward West silence. Coast. West Coast rapper. Uh, all right. So, oh, no. do you all let him know about the under caves, the barrows under Char, um, or do you want to talk about the uh, the actual siege breaking, the quest before this one? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would I would tell him, but I I think I'd be kind of self conscious about wondering if he's you know 
in the I mean, group I've already yet? heard a bit about the siege breaking itself. I, yeah, I, wrote, I actually yeah. wrote a song about it, about, you know, they were Whoa. fighting this thing for Hobgoblin. And it was what uh, genre epic. did you write? What genre? Uh, oh, probably, like... Hmm. Talking like electronic or yeah, talking hip hop? Yeah, yeah. No, no, it would be more like like metal. It would be it would be like metal, a, nice. Like a no, power ballad like a or war something. Song, yeah. Power ballad. Yes. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Uh, what? No, uh, will appreciate that. What instrument do you play? Well, I usually play um, on a lute, um, but I seem to have misplaced it. Uh, you tell them that your lute is currently missing. Uh, all yes. right, so yeah, they uh, they kind of talk a little bit about the uh, the siege breaking that they did that got them famous. Uh, speaking a little bit of uh, first escorting a caravan into town and fighting off a bunch of bandits that tried to rob it, and uh, later on going into the heart of the Iron Tide base itself and uh, going uh, after and routing the. I assume you're going to tell them that that you attacked and drove off the uh the iron tide or how are you gonna how are you how are you going to describe your victory over the uh, iron tide the same way we describe it to everyone okay so you just get a little bit more detail about how they snuck around doing hit and run attacks against the smaller factions of the iron tide and basically drove them away after a while um, I'm pretty sure the real story was it was four, four or five of us in an open battlefield against like hundreds. Oh, of just murdering Bob everything. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's how I remember it. That is much the, more metal. I, it sounds weird to me. Smash was smashing against their shield. It was thunder <laughs> and lightning in the sky, and like it was that's raining right. hard. Yeah, that's right. It's raining blood. Yeah, it was like they crazy. could not be broken, and then this this massive like ten foot hobgoblin monster came through. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. the they biggest they, hobgoblin they I've ever seen. Exactly. And then yeah. Barad turned into Thor, god of thunder, and started throwing <laughs> lightning bolts into the army. <laughs> that, all of all of that. This is uh, this is much more exactly exciting how it than happened. you wrote about. Yeah, exactly how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah, you all uh, talk, enjoy dinner. Jack so would excuse himself to go play the tavern for a while. Uh, evening would go into nighttime. Um, uh, can, can I can I roll if the song is actually good or not? Uh, <laughs> that, I, that I wrote? Uh, yeah. Yes. So, usually, uh, I mean, usually, well, okay, yeah, sure. We can do a roll for tonight for your, uh, for just tonight's playing. Okay, would that be, I guess, performance? Yeah, that would be a performance check. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh. So, unfortunately, uh, I mean, yeah, you're, you're not having the best time uh, playing. Maybe you psyched yourself out a little hearing about the actual story. Uh, I mean, I also don't have my loot. Do right? tomatoes so get I, drown? Uh, no, I only, no. I only have my drum. It's not, t like, five is easy, so it's not terrible. Uh, it's like, eh, it's okay. So maybe he's singing and he's not as, uh, as skilled with the singing. Uh, and people are, there's just kind of like maybe a little bit of indifference, a couple of pity claps. Uh, but yeah, it's not like you angered the house. Cause remember there's no natural one in skill checks. Just, uh, depends on how high you roll. Uh, so yeah, you, right. you don't have the best night. Uh, so I was going to fast forward through the evening, unless anyone else wants to do anything today. I know. The... Um, go go ahead. Uh, no, actually, I'm I'm um, I'd like to take a long rest. You know, good good break to heal up. All right. So you're kind of probably going to go back to the Blackwater Estate and go to sleep. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Is that else? where we're sleeping, guys? Is that what we're doing? Uh, you yeah, you can more. so I mean you could stay there you could stay at the Maplewood either way you're still gonna spend your uh, upkeep is um is 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 Lyra still stay is she staying there or no she is yeah she's uh okay. staying at the Blackwater um, State. I'd like to talk to her and get maybe one of her her books to read I'm kind of light on material at the moment <laughs> so she says uh, I can show you uh, a couple of books tomorrow I have a pile uh, down oh, okay. in the uh, down in the main hall of the uh, the Blackwater yes, of Estate. Of course, no problem. 
But I was actually in the middle of uh, working on some spell material, some studies, so uh, I'll have to check in with you in the morning. Of course. All right. Uh, anyone else doing anything before I end the day? Not I. All right, so uh, you would each uh, have to spend upkeep depending on your lifestyle. Is anyone doing uh, anything higher than moderate for expenses? No. Not Mo I. Modest is one gold. Uh, in char, you can go up to comfortable, which would be two gold, and it would give you uh, just a little bit better comfort and possible uh, possible extra options with uh, speaking to people in the future, like better better results on your uh, um, uh, social checks, basically. But if not, just spend the one gold piece for uh, modest. Okay. So I have the I have the entertainer background, mm -hmm. which means as long as I perform, I can usually oh. stay for free. Nice. Uh, in yeah. Like modest or comfortable standard. So sure, uh, you could say that you have a deal with the guy at the Maplewood where you're playing, and uh, you can stay there for free, so you don't have to spend anything. Awesome. All right. I'm just gonna say my 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 ret not retcon but my uh, recall of the song it wasn't bad. It's just metal doesn't work well a cappella is all. Yeah. Just needs that loot. <laughs> needs that loot. It's, it's hard to just be like. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was very confused. Air guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pull exactly. It's like, what is he doing? I don't know. All right. So it's uh, eight o'clock the next morning. Uh, Lyra would suggest uh, doing some study, uh, some research, uh, at least for the beginning of the day, uh, and maybe going kind of later on in the evening to explore. But she is up for going back as soon as the group is. Uh, oh, and you all get a long rest, so go ahead and do that now. Oh, yes. Uh, long up, rest. Sorry. Uh, one gold piece a day for modest upkeep. Um, so at least in the morning, I'd, I'd like to go... Um... To Melody stall and and possibly help her uh, make some uh, healing potions and whatnot and kind of learn from her what I can. All right. So if you want to help her run her shop, uh, there's something in upkeep called just working. Uh, it takes in, a week to upkeep? yeah. So it takes a week to get anything from it. But mm -hmm. if you want to start doing that, you can and just say you, uh, well, is the group going to use any downtime uh, for today? Or sorry, not upkeep. Yeah, it would be a downtime thing. Uh, you can work. Oh, okay. So does the group want to do any downtime today or you just want to go right back to the dungeon? Hmm. I you wouldn't mind seeing dungeon. the like dungeon. Time. You would need eight hours. Uh, you could do both. You just take the basically afternoon to work for eight hours on something, and then you could go back to the dungeon in the evening. Because there oh, isn't we can do that. Yeah, there isn't yeah, really sure. like uh, over time. Like there's a, a bit of a time crunch just because you're not sure what the uh, blood hand are doing, and you do know that they're kind of on to you a bit. But okay, um, yeah. I mean, if there's a crunch, we can get back to it. Um, oh, well, I said sure. no. There's no immediate crunch. Uh, just oh, okay. over a longer period of time, you know the blood hand might be on to you that you're working with Blackwater, even though you kind of said you're not. So, mm -hmm. But you can spend uh, the first eight hours working on something and then go back if you want. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do, like, let's figure out this chitin. We have a ton of this stuff. Yes, yes we do. All right. I have... So while they're doing that, I could I could be potentially working at that that shop, I guess. Yeah, well, let me go down the line for uh, okay. for your um, uh, downtime stuff. Uh, so, Oscar, what are you working on today? Uh, if Gnarl is working on that cutting, that's what I would want to start to do. Um, working on the how what? long does it take to the Figuring out what we're going to do with the chitin that we oh. collected from the on kegs. Oh, before. to make it into some kind of armor? Yeah, either armor, shield. Um, I don't know if there's special weapons we could make out of it, but I would mostly be looking for armor or a shield. All right. So that would be crafting. <clears throat> uh, crafting an item. 
Now I don't know the exact, because uh, usually for crafting you need the value of the thing you're crafting. Uh, so I will say though you need to have leather working and leather workers tools to do this. Do you have proficiency in those? I do not. Okay, so you unfortunately <laughs> couldn't do anything with the Ankeg uh, hide. Uh, Can we pay somebody to do that stuff? or That would be my next question. So you can. However, in the town of Char, you don't think there's anyone there's no with one. skill high enough to do that. Okay. Someone with uh, So an adventurer with leatherworking proficiency could probably do it. But, like, yeah, these blacksmiths are used to work, uh, making, like, coats and stuff. So they don't really know okay. how to make uh, armors. Uh, would I be able to transform some of the essence we collected into uh, reagents? To components? Or components, yes. Yes. So what are you transforming? I have 40 Bodak essence, 20 Skeletor, Skeletal Minotaur essence, and 60 Deathlock uh, weight right. essence. So those are, are all undead, which would require a religion check. So give me a religion check, and we'll say you're spending your downtime doing this. Uh, all right, so oh, with a five, uh, you would get yeah. minimum, so half their amounts rounded down. Cool. So and that, that turns it into... Religious components. Perfect. So you could turn all those, just half the value, and turn them into religious components. Uh, cool. So that's it for Oscar. Lokun, what are you doing for today? Um... Yes, one, I will send War Banner out to just kind of scout around. I'm going uh, to ask him to kind of try to keep an eye on the Bloodwater, uh, not Bloodwater, <laughs> Bloodhand Blood house. Hand. Okay. Uh, um, so you can't see through his eyes. So what exact command are you giving him while he's there? Um, yes, uh, if you can. He sees a very large contingent move out from that house to, to come, come to back come and back. find me, I guess. All right, so only if he sees, like, a, a bunch of troops or something? Yeah, if they look like they're making a move or something. Okay. Um, uh, and for myself... Go ahead. Sure, uh, so you send him to do that. And for myself, I'll go to the market and looking for arcane components. I doubt they have it there, but... Uh, try. so give me a, uh, persuasion check. Oh, uh, so you do actually find some arcane components being sold. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, right, I will... your friend, uh, the alchemist... His name escapes me. Hang on, I'll look it up. Uh... Or have you not met this guy? Oh, you haven't met him. All right, uh, so there is an old man in the north part of the market who uh, everyone tells you is probably the guy to talk to you, or who to talk to. Uh, you approach him. And he says, uh, oh, good morning to you, friend. Uh, it looks like he is setting up his stalls. Uh, he has a bunch of herbs and various pouches that are kind of behind, um, like, basically like little display cases uh, that are on a wooden cart. Uh, do you have knowledge arcana? I do indeed. Give me an arcana check. He says, uh, good day to you. You are one of the siege breakers, yes? That's true. Uh, okay. Oh, so you recognize his pendant, actually. It is a gold pendant uh, that has the symbol of the Phoenix Guild, uh, a symbol that a teacher slash professor of the Phoenix Guild might have. He says, uh, what, what can I do for you today, my friend? Uh, I'm Doru. Oh. Well met. Well met, Doru. Um, 
was looking for some components, uh, some arcane components, if you will. It says, ah, I may have something that interests you, or that would interest you. Uh, he pulls out a couple of pouches with white powders and uh, basically some gem dust in them. And he says, uh, these should work for whatever you're trying to do. Uh, I can sell you this batch for 50 gold pieces. And it's basically 50 gold pieces worth of components. Uh, I'm so broke. I will have to return another time. Uh, but it's good to have met you, and you are here uh, regularly. Is this uh, you? He says, oh, oh yes, uh, my shop is open every day. Now, you... Uh, I assume that uh, being a mercenary, you might have something to trade for these if you don't have the gold? Hmm. So it's not very good at, uh, so good at uh, this trading thing, but uh, let me see what I he have here. And, uh, rummage through my pack. He nods. Uh, I travel pretty lightly, uh, what of, of of my services? How, what of that? Um, I don't have many goods on me. So, uh, <sighs> well, uh, I don't know if I'd require any services. I mostly run this stall as a hobby. I, I'm retired, you see, but I do still like to garden and brew potions from time to time. Um, this is uh, retirement. Sounds well, blessed. You know, uh, give me a persuasion check, Lokun. Okay. He says, uh, I will be here, though. Uh, if uh, you or your friends have some gold later, uh, if you wish to buy these off me. I, I have had these components for quite some time. I don't generally spell cast anymore. Okay. Could I just buy perhaps 20... Is it possible to split that batch up and I could buy 20 uh, golds worth of it? Oh, yes, of course. He takes out a little scale and kind of mixes the bags up, making two of them and weighs them, and he gives you 20 gold pieces worth. All right, excellent. There you are. Anything else? Thanks. Uh, one last question is, uh, or a couple last questions is, do you know where I might find a, a calligraphy set supplies? Oh, uh, I would imagine uh, uh, that uh, Larry in the market, and he points over at one of the stalls, he says, I, I think he would be able to sell you some. Excellent. My thanks. Of course. And, uh, very last question is, I couldn't help but notice uh, that pendant uh, that you don. Uh, you're oh. of the Phoenix skills. I, not. I am, yes. Uh, that's very observant of you. Yes, I, I'm an old professor. I used to teach alchemy within the university. Uh, that seems like a lifetime ago, though. And he starts uh, talking a little bit about the Phoenix Guild and the joy he had of teaching students. and Kind of goes on a little bit. Uh, maybe after about five, ten minutes, he smiles and says, Oh, my apologies. Uh, uh, yes, long story short, I did indeed teach within the Phoenix Guild long ago. No apologies needed. It's it's fascinating to hear about that stuff. Wish uh, could have learned more of it. Um, only knew a, a bit of shaman uh, um, herbalism uh, from my mother, but uh, perhaps uh, I will sw I will swing by another time for sure. I'd love to hear more about. Says, oh, are you from the Nazic Empire by chance? Um, that's the Hobgoblin. That's the Empire. Desert Empire. Yes, uh, you are. You are from you... there. Okay. Yep. Indeed. Uh, maybe uh, keep it between us, though. I I don't think it's uh, kind of unusual. Oh, of course. Like... Uh, I, uh, it's been a long time since I've been there, but in my youth I traveled uh, there quite a bit, uh, doing trade with uh, some of the some of the uh, tribes. So I figured, as I don't see many hobgoblins around here, that that was probably where you're from. Mm. Well, thank you, Doru. 
I will I will see you again, no doubt. Yes, uh, good journeys to you. Uh, so you get your stuff. If you want to buy calligraphy, you can just use book price. Uh, okay. Gnarl, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to... Oh, I just need a frog component is all I need. Oh, or just like a frog a, token. Yeah, a frog, frog beast, token. all right. Um, yeah, yeah. Barrett, what are you doing? Oh, hello. Uh, well, um, Barrett was, <laughs> I, interestingly enough, even before I knew the guy was a bard, he wanted to learn to play the flute. So he, but first he's going to talk to Jax about that. Uh, does just... Jax know how to play the flute? Well, no, I no. I do uh, know how to play the flute. Oh, do you? Oh, there you go. I mean, obviously, who doesn't know how to play the flute? I there don't you know how to play the flute. <laughs> but uh, I have a flute, but I don't know how to play it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I think that would be training. Uh, yeah, it which takes forever. It does take a while, uh, but you can start working on it because you don't have to do the whole week at once. Uh, so you could... Uh, so it would be 25 a week, which you pay at the end of the week, uh, but you could put today towards it. Uh, if you want to maybe uh, even speak with Jax and have him be your teacher. And then you could pay Jax your money. Uh, I don't... Yeah? <laughs> I mean, that sounds great. Hmm. Do you want to start a band? <laughs> um, I mean, uh, in principle, yes. <laughs> um, but I think you you probably need to do a bit more work, and um, obviously, you know, like I'm, I can help you. I can teach you for a price. Um, but eventually, if you're really good, then yeah, we can we can team up, of course. Rad. So if what I start think? now, when does the twenty-five leave my? So what's I'm your ask what's him. your intelligence modifier? Oh, it doesn't give me any bonus. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it would be ten work weeks, uh, twenty-five gold pieces per work week, and uh, basically, yeah, every seven days you would get some uh, some progress towards learning. So it does take a while, but yeah, I mean, you could just start working on it. No, that's okay. You can pay me after the, the first week. All right. So is that what uh, Barrett's doing? Learning from Jax? Oh, no. Barrett doesn't really have the money for that right now. <laughs> All right. But uh, he does want to do it. Uh, so Barrett doesn't... And his, he's, he's really tired. He's going to rest today. All right. So you're not doing anything today? You just kind of talk to Jax a little bit about it? Yeah. Uh, I El start dreaming about a band. Uh, Elric... You said you want to do some research today. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, so I want to. I'd like to go to the market and um, buy some uh, gemstone uh, dust okay. for uh, health potion crafting. So to craft healing potions, you need rare herbs uh, or just any type of component. Oh, I. I I was looking at the the five E thing. It said uh, you need distilled in pure water and gemstone with a value of twenty five, which has been ground it down to a fine powder. Uh, are you talking about healing potions in the five E or, or no? uh, for uh, uh, Xanathar's crafting? I mean, we can we can do it whichever way you want. I, I just wanted to get these in, uh, ingredients. Uh, so do vital, you, you know, vital ingredients do and bring them you, uh, to melody. Do you have a, Oh, okay, so you want Melody to make it for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she'd be happy to do that. Because uh, I assume you don't have uh, an herbalism kit, right? I do not. Okay. So Melody says, uh, yeah, if you can get me... And she gives you a list of stuff that basically comes out to 25 gold pieces. Uh, she says she can spend the day brewing a healing potion for you. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's fine. I can mark that off real quick. Okay. Uh, right, so that so would be her doing something for you today. Is there anything you want to do today? Um, basically, just you know, since I have money invested in the shop, um, help out any way I can, and also you know maybe do a, a, a bring more people in 
you know, like a, I guess what would that be? Uh, charisma, I guess check probably. So to try to bring more people into the shop. Well, I think uh, did she finish building the shop in this game, or was she still in the process? I always she get was, my games confused. Yesterday, yes, uh, or, or rather Let's yesterday, see. she was finishing setting it up. You said. Okay. Uh, so you can do a work week, uh, working in the shop, mm -hmm. which would take a week's worth of time. Uh, and then at the end of it, you would make a, you could use a charisma doing a, uh, persuasion check. And, uh, you would basically, depending on how well you do, you could make some money by helping her. Okay. Um, so but that just... would take seven days of doing that. Okay, and I can't. There's no way I can spread it out, you know, over time. Or, or... Uh, you can. It's just you would get the rewards at the end of the week. So okay. at the end of yeah, seven I... days, uh, you would get your rewards for that. I can. Uh, I can do that. So charisma, you said. Yeah, but you don't have to roll just yet. It would be after the seven okay. days. Uh, but you'll. We'll say right. you're working on that today, so you can put one day towards. Uh, towards that downtime. All right, I'll put it in my notes. Uh, basically, I'm just. I'm just trying to make sure you know. I, I recoup on my, you know, investment and help in any way. I'd also like to uh, uh, talk to uh, Melody. Yes. Uh, perhaps we uh, should talk about terms uh, regarding the investment. She says, of, of course. What sort yes. of terms? Um, a percentage-based uh, contract on um, ownership of business. Oh, uh, well, I was uh, figuring that I would just put the proceeds towards the town and I would be happy to use my skills to make the group potions or do any type of healing the group needs uh, as, uh, as we go. Yes, healing the town is all fine and dandy, but making money for yourself and, you know, in the business venture, wouldn't that sound great as well? Uh, give me a persuasion. Persuasion? Okay, yeah. one second. <clears throat> persuasion. I'm looking for it. Let's see. I see perform. There it is. Persuasion. There we are. Uh, well, I, I was mostly, I mean, doing the business will make enough to support me, but, I mean, my, my, main goal here was not to become rich off this but more to just help these uh, people after all they've been through she says mm, I, yes. I have i of course will uh use the money i make to keep the business going and uh um uh i can like i said uh, help you all with uh extra potions and ingredients every now and then of course of course well if you um if you do want to, you know, expand and, and overall uh, improve the business and, and make more money for yourself, uh, let me know, you know, and we can talk about expanding. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, maybe once things calm down, if Char becomes uh, more of a uh, trading hub again, uh, I can look into providing my services to, to more rich clients who can pay better. Yes. Until then, though, would you care for some help in your shop? Oh, I would love some help. I have so much to do, especially now uh, if I'm brewing this potion. Uh, so yeah, she would great, or she would gladly accept help if you want to help her. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, and Jax, what do you want to do for the day while the uh, group is getting ready um, to go back into the dungeon? So I think I I, I would talk to um, Barrett about. Um, the like learning how to play the flute all right so yeah if you want to spend your downtime teaching barrett you can uh that would be fine and that would just be your downtime yeah all right sure. so barrett is resting and getting uh lessons from you uh so you both of you put a day towards that i mean like free lessons though like <laughs> what's going on here uh, uh... Yeah, that's up to Sure, Jackson. the first lesson is free. Cool. So he Rad. says he'll uh, he'll be teaching you for free for now. Okay, so you're all working on these things during the day. Uh, give me a d20 roll for events, someone. 
just the first d20 roll I get. All right, so the day passes without too much issue. Uh, at least the work day. You all put a day towards your downtime activities. Uh, in the evening, uh, the group would, I assume, reassemble at Blackwater's mansion and go back into the dungeon. Uh, yes, has it been long enough to uh, brewing wise all day to get that? Yes, potion? so the health potion has been brewed. So if you spent the 25 gold pieces, uh, Melody yes. would give you the health potion at this point. All right, sounds good. All right, it is currently, we'll say, uh, five o'clock in the evening. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, real quick. I do have the ring of spell storing, and I'm not. I don't. I'm not using it. It's just sitting in my inventory. Okay. So can I give that to like someone who has magic, like Locoon? I don't think it has anything in it. Uh, yeah, of course, <laughs> if you want. Okay, I can fill it up before. Uh, it's, uh, did we just wake up or something, or do no, I have time it's, to fill it's it up? No, it's five o'clock in the evening at this point, so it'd be too late to fill it up. Okay. Well, unless you want to just use your spells now. But, now, Phil, I'll actually I'll, I'll fill it up like halfway, and then I'll give it. Uh, I'll hand it over to Oscar. All right, what spells we'll are you put casting? Put a bunch of shields. It? Just shield. I'll just throw some shields in there. Yeah. Uh, how uh, many shield spells are you casting? I'll put, uh, I'll put three shields in there. Why not? All right. So Actually, how about this? Uh, three shields and, and one fine familiar. Uh, Actually, yeah. No, no, no. Three shields. Three shields. Well, shields, okay. Sorry. So three shields, and I think you can hold up to five spell levels, right? Yeah, I'll give it to Oscar if he wants to put something in there. Do you remember how many you can hold? Uh... Five is what five. I have. Okay. Part five. Um, all right, so Lokun spends uh, three first level spells, and the Ring of Spell Storing now has three shield charges. Uh, but yeah, it's five o'clock in the evening now as the group assembles at Blackwater's place. Uh, Blackwater is uh, still not oh. here. Yeah. I'm so sorry. We were about to go into the dungeon right now. We're we not are. about to go rest or something. No, we are going into the dungeon. Right. Unless you don't want to go today, and we could uh, pass another day. That's, I'm sure, that's but we'll put three saying. shields in there. Yeah. And then Oscar would need to attune to it, or someone would. Which only one needs attunement? So yeah. it doesn't take attunement to put spells in, but to use it, yes, it's you have to be attuned. Yeah. I'm uh, uh, well, not going to put those spells in there. Can I retcon that? I didn't realize that. Sure. All right. So we'll say you did not put the three cool. shield spells in. Cool. Uh, let me make the giant frog, because that's what I was doing before all this. Good deal. Poor frog. Was... <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, settle. What was the uh, frog's name again? Frog McFrogface? Toad, Toad McFarlane. Toad McFarlane. Toad McFarlane. All right. Uh, so... Are you really going to memorize it? I'm going to put the copy of the giant toad into summons. Or wait. Yeah, I guess... Uh, were we keeping them? I guess we'll keep them in summon. Uh, and I will give you... <laughs> see i have access to the summons uh so this is for gnarl uh so you should see a giant frog in summons that you are able to edit i don't see summons oh under summon okay under copy of giant frog. yeah so you should be able to edit that now so you can go ahead okay. and uh yeah do your thing uh, so yeah, it's about 5 o'clock. Uh, you all were busy during the day, but you would head back to the Blackwater Estate, and uh, I assume you're going back down? Yes, please. That is what I would want to do. Lyra, we, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, as we go down, Barrett would cast, or not cast, he would do his psychic whispers for a few of us. All right, go ahead and link it. Who 
wants to brain talk? All of us. All of us. How many can you cover? I don't think I can get all of us. Three. You pick. I think we got last time. Yeah, oh, Lyra person? seemed to really enjoy it. <laughs> I would yeah, not give be. It to, give it to Lyra. She says, I certainly would not be against it. Um, and you also notice that once again, Blackwater is not here. Hmm. That's interesting. But yeah, I guess I put it in the table, but I, uh, I think. If nobody be... else wants you in their brain, I would gladly take you. I was going to say Os uh, Oscar. Gnarled. Maybe not the Lyra, and maybe the uh, Jax. Okay. She seems sad, but um, nods. Looking would ask Lyra, hey, uh, where, do you know where Blackwater went? Uh, I believe he was here last night, but I'm not sure. You know, he's usually about the house somewhere. Uh, might be in his private study. Uh, do you want me to ask around before we go down? Yeah, it's not important. She nods. Thank you. All right, she says, are we ready to venture back down under the city or under the town? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Oh, who's this Where? new person, she says. Wait, is that Jax? Nah. You got it. <laughs> yes. Uh, always having to be the fan. She says, wow, you all know Jax? She says, I've, I, I heard you play a couple of times in the taverns of... Uh, that northern city. Where was that? How yeah. it was. Uh, she says, uh, well, I heard you play in Dorvin and Dezoric. You were quite talented. Oh, yeah, that was a... Yeah, that was a, that was a good tour, I remember. She says, well, it's uh, lovely to meet you. Are you working with the Siege Breakers now? Uh, I am... writing a song about them. Uh, and, and I have to... Collect some material, see see how they work, and so I can accurately represent their deeds. Oh, uh, wow! What an honor. Yeah. He's. Uh, oh, you're writing a song about all of all of us. I, I thought you were just writing a song about me. Uh, well, I mean, I I, I will write many songs <laughs> about you know you <laughs> and you and, and and all of you together. Hashtag like and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so she nods and says, uh, Jax is a very talented musician. Uh, well, it, it's good to have you with us, friend. Um, and she smiles as she shakes your hand. Uh, all right. Well, now that, uh, yes, now that that's settled, uh, shall we head down? Is everyone ready to enter this area? These can be. All right. So you head back down into the barrows. Um, as we're as we're heading down, um, I uh, I just want to hype everyone up and um, basically tell everyone how like how great of a time we're gonna have, how many adventures we're gonna do, and I will apply my inspiring leader. And so everyone, Ooh, except, shit. except Lyra, gets nine temporary hit points. Sorry, Lyra. Oh nice. shit! <laughs> Damn. Lyra feels sad that she was nah. left out. It's like, oh, no, again. That, that's okay. That's I, I, I was, I could, yeah, that's fine. She says. Narl, Narl pops, um, <laughs> pops his, pops his chest out a little bit, chest out a little bit further than normal. You got this. All right. So she would lead you back underground, uh, through the halls, down below, and I need a D twenty roll. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you're right. Good idea. Barrett, uh, I give Barrett dark vision. Uh, so. Anybody else need dark vision? <coughs> um, Not I. I would if, if, if you could. Jax, of but... course. Yeah. Are you a uh, human, Jax? Sorry. I am a human. Ah. Oh yeah, another human. You also have dark vision for eight hours. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Barrett what time is it right now? Uh, oh, my bad. Uh, it's probably around 
5.30 when you head down into the Barrows. P okay. P.M.? Yes, 5.30 yeah. p.m. because you did a work okay. day of downtime. Yes, yes. So, what's the group's Earth. highest passive perception? It's either gnarled I, am, or... I have 16. Um, passive, I have uh, 10. Yeah, passive. 16? Yeah, I think Naro wins that. All right. I have 16 as well, so it's the same. 16? All right. Uh, so as you're traveling through the barrows, uh, I assume you have light sources. Don't need. We don't need light. Yes, I don't need it. Oh! For, uh, yeah, we're going to try to be a little more stealthy, I think, eh? So you don't... Uh, you are correct. You don't have to have a light source. Uh, I will say, though, that if you don't have a light source, you are at disadvantage to perception checks. I do have a hooded lantern with me. So hmm. I could Let's use that. Uh, Wait, even even with uh. um, being able to see in the dark? Yes, because yeah, dark, dark vision, vision dim. dark vision does not see well. It just oh. it's harder to see detail. So you would uh, any sight based perception uh, perception checks while you're in complete darkness are a disadvantage. So you can yeah. still kind of make things out, but it's not as good as having light. Yeah, who wants some light? Uh, I'll put it on something. Perhaps well, the question or... is: the question is, do we want to go sneaky or do we want to go aware? Yeah, I do have that magic from before, if you remember, that uh, helped us pass without That's... a trace. Ooh, I don't that... know if we want to use that or um, that would require yeah, spell our magic. Set, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind. And that That would work for me. It's only one hour as well. Yeah, so that okay. would basically so maybe when we get that would basically get you because it's about an hour to get from the uh, from the estate to the dungeon through the uh, under caves or through the uh, barrows. Mm, so, up to you. you we guys can go stealthy. Go... Or we can go... right. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to go stealthy or do you want to be able to see better? I think yeah. we should save. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I would prefer to save my energies. Uh, yeah, I was I running mean, pretty low before. That's up to y'all. Stealth mm -hmm. works for me just fine. Okay. Okay, let's do. I think all. Let's... I think all of us can uh, stealth very well. Good point. So, I guess we'll just have some light, no? Let's all do it. Right. you guys want to split split up and uh, scout ahead. Uh, yeah, that's certainly an option if you want to have someone up in the darkness uh, away from the group. Uh, you think the Ali? would be a good scout or I could wild shape into something. Uh Baron's probably the familiar. best. I'm uh Baron's probably the best. I'm pretty sneaky but I'm still kind of right now. from the uh right, yeah. <clears throat> so why don't for Being now lazy? we're saying the group is uh well he he's still wounded. Uh or is just lazy. Or just lazy. Uh, <laughs> exhaustion. <laughs> but, I'm exhausted. As you're uh, as you're traveling through the tunnels, uh, trying to get back to uh, the halls of Tarsus, uh, fifteen or over on perception check would have you hearing something coming from up ahead. Uh, you have a light out, right? Yeah. Who did I cast it on? Or did anybody want? Uh... Gnarl, you have a shield that you want to put on it, or <clears throat> me hold it? No, not no light on me, but lights on someone that I can not see while in the either. dark. So not on me either. Yeah, I'm the least sneaky of us. Light on me. I will take the light for sure. <laughs> Baird, Baird, because he can't sneak right now, anyways. You can put it on my hat. Okay, light on Baird's hat. Okay. So there is a light on the group. Uh, but yeah, as you're walking, you hear something up ahead. Uh, and as you're moving uh, down this hallway, uh, a strange looking creature suddenly comes into view. Uh, which I will show you in one moment. Uh, 
so you can arrange yourselves to liking in this hallway here, uh, whatever your marching order would be. Uh, but from up ahead, a dark-looking, translucent creature uh, would come up to the edge of your light. Uh, it kind of hisses as it says, The living don't belong here. And I need oh, snap. initiative rolls. Supposed to be seeing something. Oh, did you not hear what it said? No, no, seeing something. I, I said here. Uh, you image. might have to pull out. So this is where the group is. Uh, those of you who have lights can pull them out. Like I said, uh, rearrange your oh, yeah. group to your order. Um, can you can you give me dark vision or or something because like everything's black for me. Uh, do you have dark vision? Uh, we both. Yeah. Have dark vision. Narl gave me dark vision earlier. Oh, uh, Narl, did you cast dark vision? Yeah, yeah, twice. I cast gotcha. it on each of them. Okay. But we also have a light, so there we go. That's true. All right. I so I will give you dark vision since Narl gave it to you for the time being. He also uh, gave it to me. Oh, two spell slots, okay. Yeah. Uh, so that is Barred. Oh. Alright, so... Uh, you would see two strange groupings of creatures up ahead, both spectral, uh, and both coming at you. So this is the second, oh, or this is the second creature uh, that is behind the first one. Uh, Damn. Which seem like they are all some kind of weird spiritual creatures. Uh, so initiative. I rolled the best initiative uh, that I have ever rolled. Oh, that will probably come in handy. Uh, That's a pretty good initiative. So the first one to act uh, will be Barrett. So these creatures are coming towards the group uh, at the edge of your light. What do you want to do, Barrett? It's they seem to be flying down the hallway towards you. Barrett would. Um... As a bonus action, you steady aim, giving him advantage on this front guy, and throw his brain daggers. Just All right. immediately. So you fire some brain daggers at the creature. Also, who put these buttons on my thing? It's so tight. Uh, that was probably me for when you were being played by someone else. Uh, do you have range to hit them from where you are? Is it 60 feet for your brain daggers? Yeah. Alright, so you hurl a brain dagger. Uh, 18 would strike. Oh. Uh, hitting this creature right in the face for 16 points of psychic damage. Uh, seemingly angering it as its yellow eyes flare up and it starts coming towards you. Alright, uh, I use my bonus action, and I'm not going to get closer to it, so that's my turn. Alright, so that is it for you. Just checking something. Okay, uh, so a specter goes next. Let me see, what's the speed? Okay, so the specter screams as it flies down the hallway. <laughs> coming right at you. And it is going to attempt to life drain you as it lunges forward. Uh, 13 versus AC. That does not hit. All right, so as it comes for you, you quickly jump back, uh, keeping away from its dangerous looking hands and is unable to strike you. Uh, that is it for that creature. Jasper, what do you want to do? All right. Um, I will look at the creature and say, um, I have never seen someone as ugly as you. And cast Vicious Mockery. 
All right, so lacing your words with psychic energy. Uh, the creature will attempt to resist. Wisdom save. Uh, it rolls a six and would fail, uh, taking three points of psychic and now, damage. And now they have disadvantage on their next uh, attack roll. All right. And so just remind me also, of that when the creature goes. Yeah. Uh, I will also, uh, I guess, say like, oh, go, Lokun! You can do it! And I use my bardic inspiration. All right, so Lokun, you feel inspired as uh, Jasper cheers you on. Uh, you can spend the bardic Thank inspiration you. to add a dice to one of the rolls. Uh, that's it for you, Jasper. Yep, that's it. Uh, I'll probably move it. Back here. All right, gotta get away from that guy. Uh, the specter will fly up the hallway as well, uh, angered with Barred. It will lunge at you. Ah! Eleven no. So once again, you jump sideways, avoiding the attack. Gnarl. Hey there, Gnarl. Mm -hmm. He's just not in the chat, in the voice chat. Uh oh. We lose Gnarl. He did say in a roll 20 out of chat for a bit. Just let me know. Oh, is he back? Uh, sorry about that. I am back. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do, um, Gnarl? It's your turn. Uh, well, we're going to first of all wipe the floor with these, whatever these things are. Let's. um. Let's send. Uh, I mean, as per usual, let's get. Oh, I don't have a, don't have control of Toad right now. So, if I can get control of that dude, that would be nice. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what did you call him? Toad McFarlane. There it is. So okay, Toad McFarlane, cool. and uh, let me just set that to your character, so I don't have to do this again. Okay. Or set that to the Amazing. resource, I should say. Uh, so yes. Summon to McFarlane. All right. Uh, so yeah, you should have control of him now. So what are you going to command okay. him to do? He's going to go up, and he can go thirty feet, I guess. So he's going to just uh, he's just going to go up here. So just, this is uh, a difficult the terrain, by the way. Just the, on that spot. Yeah, because he was already on this other spot, so I'm not gonna. So it'd just be okay. five more feet to go where. Yeah. And, point. Okay. Okay, so he can go to here. He's gonna set up over there. Okay. Um, I'm going to set up on the other side of this guy. And uh, has either of these guys been hit yet? No. Well, yes, this one got psychically attacked by uh, Jasper. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use um, my uh, bonus action to Shillelagh. All right. So you uh, light up your staff with nature energies as you chant casting Shillelagh. And I'm going to strike uh, this guy. Magical right. bludgeon. Uh, 18 wood strike, uh, hitting him in the back, disrupting his. Uh, incorporeal essence and you do eight points of damage okay. uh, which does seem to wound him nice. <sighs> he screams nice. and turns towards you anything else i'm um, gonna just tell the rest of the team uh make sure to use your flanking let's take these guys out quick as you didn't That's flank there <laughs> no, well, I was giving other people things. I, I was giving other I know, I know, I know. I, know. I didn't need it because I have 18. I know. I'm just messing with you. Uh, Oscar, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, let's see. Uh, I am going to use... Pros uh, actually, I am going to use one of my wild chips to bring Ali out. Okay. And... Uh, so I think you, that'll be my turn. You summon Owly. Uh, go ahead and bring him out and roll and for initiative. For I'm going to ask him to uh, distract the closest enemy. Okay. That was quite an awful initiative. But. Did you roll uh, initiative? Yes, and that is my turn. Uh, 
I don't oh, see do. him. Well, did you highlight his token? I thought I thought I did, but apparently not. There he is. All right. Uh, so with an 18, I'll say that he can go after you. Cool. Uh, yeah. So he is Good. going to fly up here and uh, basically harry this specter who screeches at him uh, and is temporarily distracted. Uh, Lokun. Okay. Um, I'm just going to, for now, I'm just going to throw a firebolt at the wounded one. Next to Baird. All right, so he has light cover, giving him plus two AC. But go ahead. Uh, Eighteen 18? would definitely strike as fire sears him. Uh, so 18? he would take. Uh, it would take seven points of fire damage. As it seems to be slightly resistant. That. Okay. Uh, anything else? To know. Um, I'll just move back a little bit. All right. So this is my turn. Back up, uh, Elric. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my my movement. Or uh, no, uh, first off, I pull out. Uh, I conjure my weapon, basically my my two uh, two in it great sword. Uh, go ahead and link that power. Uh yes, I can do that. Uh, one sec. Uh, I just link the pack to the blade, right? Uh, I believe so. And if it's multiple paragraphs, just tell me which paragraph I'm looking at. Did I? There it goes. Uh, where is it? You can use your action to create a packed weapon in your empty hands. Or right. empty hand. So that would be your action, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Action. You're right. All right, so um, go ahead. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack the... So uh, I think uh, if you use your action to create it, uh, you wouldn't actually have it or get an attack this turn, right? Really? I, I, I was not... Uh... Uh, I mean, let's see. I mean, you could say that you had created it earlier um, as you first entered this place, because it does. I, I admit, I admit to like like I did last time, but okay. I didn't really get a chance. So yeah, we can just uh, just let me know next time at the beginning of the dungeon when okay. everyone's doing everything. Uh, but we'll say you had it, so you just mo go ahead and mark yourself as maybe just drawing your packed weapon. Maybe it was on your back. So use okay. your item interaction to pull it off your back. Uh, mark yourself as wielding it, and go ahead uh, move and attack if you want. It's the it's the it's the cross swords, and you press a two, right? Yeah, like that. Exactly. Okay. Yep. All right, and then I'm gonna use a Eldritch Blast. Uh, let me see as I find it. There we go. All right, Eldritch Blast at. All right. So enemy. you. Point your weapon forward. Uh, first one is an advantage if you aim it. You said this one, right? Yes, that one, yeah. All right, so it is blasted with the first attack. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. 12, and I uh, assume you're blasting it with the second. Uh, yes, yeah. Because you do have to call both attacks when you first cast, because, uh, yeah, you cast them both at the same so time. Okay, so I just, how do I go about that? I, I say... Uh, so you'd I, either I say, like, either. I blast him with both, or I blast okay. one okay. each. Like, you just have to call the... Like, basically, if so you kill one both. of them, you can't redirect. Oh, I see. Okay. So uh, you yeah, have to... So I, uh, use, yeah. I use both on, on this one right here. All right, so 24 would blast him a second time for another 10, and he pff, ah, turns to dust. And that's out all for my turn. Screech. All right, uh, so this one down the hallway here is going to fly forward and go at Toad McFarlane, screaming <laughs> as he does. Ah! Uh, 22 versus AC. Oh, wait, disadvantage, 5 versus AC. Uh, so the Toad dodges the attack, uh, and the creature seems very annoyed, uh, but that would be it for him. The Wraith goes. Who was the one that blasted it? 
Definitely not Barrett. That was Barrett. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> It flies at very uh, frightening speed towards you and attempts to lunge doing a life drain attack. Uh, so 25 versus AC. Did he go by the toad at all or no? Uh, he flew around it. He has 60 feet okay. of movement. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, that for sure. All right, so it life trains you for 26 necrotic. Oh, and I need a con save DC 14 as it attempts to make that permanent life um, train. Um, so you feel it sucking out your life force as it seemingly gets stronger. I'm sorry, I was re I was reading something, but can I use a lucky point to make you reroll that? Uh, I thought that was just well. Go ahead and link lucky. People don't use this often enough, so I forget what this does. Uh, right at the the third paragraph. Third paragraph. Yeah, right there. You can also spend. All one right, luck so yeah, points. you can uh, you can roll a d20 and replace my roll with yours if you want. That's a pretty cool ability. <laughs> <laughs> well. You actually well, rolled. How'd that, how'd that turn out? You rolled. Uh, no, actually, you rolled one less than me because he rolled nineteen. Uh, so We're I'm good. assuming That's it's fine. still hitting you, unfortunately. Oh yeah. All right. So you are life drained, as I said, for twenty six uh, points of necrotic energy, and I need a con save. So when he loses, like it's about to try to steal his life permanently. That's gone forever, or, or just a time being? Who knows? Uh, that would be a religion check to know more about okay. that. Uh, right. Luckily, you resist it. Uh, you still take 26 necrotic, but it's only temper, or it's normal damage, so you don't get life drained. But you do feel extremely withered, and you would probably look wounded now. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Uh, how many? We had nine temporary hit points, though, right? Yes, I believe yes. so, from being hyped up from Jasper. Yep, that's right. Mine. All right, so... I'm actually not wounded yet. Oh, right. well, there you go. The uh, the nine saved you. Uh, so that's it from the, for the uh, Wraith War Banner goes. Um, just a quick question. Did War Banner also get the uh, temporary hit points as part of... No, it's it was only leader? six of you. Gotcha. War Banner, uh, War Banner will is not inspired by uh, Jasper's speech at the beginning. War Banner is, does not comprehend uh, the the weight of that speech. Yeah, and uh, flies and flies back out, distracting the uh, the big shadowy guy over here. So it kind of flails a bit, uh, providing advantage on the next attack. Uh, Barrett. Oh hello, Barrett is gonna say a choice curse at this asshole and he's gonna hit him with his brain dagger once uh which guy oh. the uh wraith yeah the wraith the all right so wraith. thanks to the distraction that is a crit so you deal 19 24 points of damage and it looks wounded from the attack and then Barrett is going to bonus action disengage and run away from it. Okay, so you roll back uh, quickly getting away. So. I'm going to go back here so I can count this. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that is 30 feet of movement to get to where you went, taking your torch with you. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, that would be all. Alright, so this thing is going to go 5 15 what? Um, would it get an attack of opportunity from Narl? Uh, yes, actually. Narl, you can oppy this thing. Or wait, actually, sorry, I, uh, was he okay. here or was okay. he here? I thought he was, he was here. Right here. 
Oh, he was, he was here. Down. All yeah. right. Uh, sorry. Uh, I think he's just going to go for Gnarl yeah. then if he sees you threatening okay. him. So okay. he is going to turn around and attempt to life drain you as he screams. Uh, 18 versus AC. 19 AC. All right. So you right. just managed to avoid that attack as he lunges. You uh, you're gonna throw your staff up and keep him at bay. Uh, that's it for him. Jasper, what are you going to do? Um, I will move um, back a bit. And then I will again say it's like, oh, you've got an ugly face. And cast Vicious Mockery on this guy. And that one the now. Uh, all right. It will attempt to wisdom save. Oh, rolls a nine, fails, and uh, it is affected by your psychic attack. Also gaining disadvantage on its next swing. Anything else? Yep. Yeah. Uh, nope, that's it. All right, that specter is dead. Uh, Gnarl. Um, okay, I'm going to go here and then dodge. Okay. And actually, I got some HP left. That thing hits hard, though. I'm going to hit this guy. Okay, so you... Oh, my... Uh, your shillelagh? Yeah, shillelagh. Shillelagh. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. 19 would land a solid hit. Uh, smashing through it. Boom. Okay. As it and goes I'll stay down there. Into a small uh, essence powder. Uh, all and right. This froggo will uh, jump to the south of that guy just to make sure. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right. Oscar. Uh, you can do. I'm gonna cast frostbite on this guy right here. All right, so you attack his con. Uh, con save. Well, it was a five, so it would fail. Uh, and that's what cold damage. Uh, correct. So it would actually only take half from that, so it takes three points of cold damage. Uh, oh, and I guess it gets double disadvantage on its next attack. <laughs> uh, it's twice as disadvantaged. Uh, anything else? Uh, I'm going to command Owly to help Frogo out with the distraction. All right, so Owly... And that is my turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So he would fly down and then go 10 feet up this way, uh, distracting sure. the creature. So he has 50 feet of movement, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that is it for Owly. Uh, Locoon, what are you going to do? All right. Locoon's going to come. Well, actually, he's just going to stay where he is and cast Iron Sliver against the Wraith. All right, so the Wraith will attempt to resist with an intelligence save. Uh, it rolls a three, so it would fail and take eight points of psychic damage, starting to look very ragged from the continued onslaught of magic attacks. Uh, anything else? Mm. Is it for Loken? All right, Elric. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So I... Speak abyssal at the wraith and say your presence offends me and uh, and then I go in for two more eldritch blasts on, on him alright so you send two eldritch blasts at him uh, and here is the blast oh both uh, so the first one would miss uh, but 13 would strike with the second one. All right, so you, uh, another 12. You Does blast that thing have... hmm? Oh, never mind. That was on its attacks, not our attacks. Ignore yeah. me. Sorry. Uh, so you would blast him dead center as uh, you sort of disperse his energy. He looks oh. at you and says, uh, thank you, as he fades away. Oh, damn. damn. Uh, anything else? I mean, I'd like to, to to see if there's anything I can loot off of of uh, that that wraith. 
Oh, uh, we do uh, have one more down. Yes, so there oh. is another one. Uh, on his turn, he is going to... Oh, there's another one. Oh, okay. Fly up this way, giving Toad McFarlane an oppy. If he wants Go to Go Toad! Him. Oh, yeah. He's going to take his... Toad always takes his... Attacks here. I'm going to click on this. Click on this. Go ahead and spend his reaction. Right. And uh, 26 would crit... Now, does your toad do magic damage yet, your pet? No, it's only 25, though. It's not a credit, I don't think, right? Uh, he uh, is it has offering advantage because of the owl. Oh, shit. Damn. So that would be uh, a crit. Yeah. Uh, so he does four points of uh, piercing. As uh, I okay. said, The unfortunately, the bite does not hit as hard as you'd like it to. Uh, and he is immune to being grappled. Ooh, damn. So okay. you cannot grab him because he is incorporeal. Uh, so it flies nice. up this way, flies up this way, uh, and goes here. Very angry at Elric for killing its master, and it screeches as it lunges at you. Oh, but rolls very poorly. Uh, six versus AC would miss. Is it very so even one. though it missed... Can I still take my Hellish Rebuke or no? No, or I think it, it has to deal damage. Okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you can link your Hellish Rebuke, but I'm 99% sure it's uh, in response oh, to I think damage. You're, I think you're right on the damage, yeah. Okay, so that's it for the Spectre. Uh, the Wraith is dead. War Banner. War Banner swoops in and regurgitates uh, uh, a pellet. All right. I guess it passes <laughs> right through him. Uh, but anyways, flies back. Yep, so he is distracted. Uh, Barrett. Alright, Barrett is, um... I think he's just gonna run up on him. Just fuck this guy. Ah, Alright, so you have advantage. There you, there you go, Barrett. Uh, running up right as the uh, owl distracts him, so go ahead and give me an attack with advantage. Right here. Crit. Cool. Nice. No Lots of crits today. Alright, so you stab the creature uh, doing 28 psychic damage uh, as it fades. Ah, Turning so into the psychic essence. blades like go through it and just like uh, well psychic damage kind of disrupts incorporeal monsters since it's not a true damage stab it more just disrupts the essence to the point where it falls apart but uh the group is safe for now what do you all want to do nice nice daggers brain daggers baird lyra says baird are you all right that that creature seemed to uh drain you quite harshly totally fine <laughs> <laughs> never been <laughs> <Onward>. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, shall we continue then? Indeed. So you know that the essence of these undead can probably be collected uh, using religion. I would love to do that if we have the opportunity. Uh, so you want to take ten minutes? Uh, I'm going to ask the party, or oh, we sure. should continue moving forward. Yeah, I'm, uh, Barrett, are you, are you okay? You, you don't look so good. I look pretty okay. I'm pretty fine. Still a little tired. From Who was it that got life life drained? Baird. <laughs> it was Baird, but he did have some temp HP. He doesn't look wounded yet, so he's not below half health. Uh, unless you have medicine, you'd only know if he looks wounded or if he's uh, unwounded. You mean if I have proficiency? In medicine? Yes. Sorry, proficiency in medicine. I I do not. Okay. So yeah, he wouldn't look wounded. He maybe look a little bit drained from the uh, where the wraith struck him. Like he might look a little withered, but he doesn't look like he's badly wounded. Okay, like he's not showing. I've experienced signs. worse. <laughs> All right, so you're giving uh, someone ten minutes to collect the essence, or do you want to just yeah, move on? I think uh, Galric and Oscar can collect a couple vials, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. All right. So the, uh, yeah, give me a religion check. Uh, 20. 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that was muted. I'm sorry. Um, yes, I rolled a 20 on it. Uh, is anyone else going to attempt? I did up above and I rolled oh, a 12. Oh, 12. All right. So you are able to collect some... So there's two types of en- uh, essence. Uh, the spectral essence, you would collect 20 gold pieces worth of spectral essence. Uh, the wraith essence, you'd collect 30 gold pieces worth. And again, you can either keep these separate or mix them with other undead. But if you want to keep the pure essence, you have to have separate vials. We will spell, use separate vials. Real quick, I forget. Sorry, what? How do you spell essence real quick? Uh, E-S-S-E-N-C-E, I believe. E-S-S-E-N-S-E-N-C-E. Um, there we go. I got it marked down in my inventory... And are you collecting the uh, the spectral essence? Yes, the wraith. Okay, so and I, I got I got the the wraith essence. Cool. All right. So are you carrying you that essence, separate from the uh, party treasury then? Uh, yes, I, I have it in the the wraith essence in my. Uh, All right. So yeah, mark uh, the uh, wraith essence. Uh, that's with Elric, but you can put the I guess specter specter essence in the party treasury, since Elric cool. took Perfect. that. All right. So, ten minutes pass quietly as you collect the essence and kind of uh, regroup from battle. Uh, I assume you're going to continue? So we got to get to this temple. Well, yes, as well. That certainly could have gone worse. I have not seen those creatures down here before. She says, I wonder where they came from. I thought these tunnels were abandoned. Probably released the curse. So you don't have to move through these tunnels manually. Uh, so she says, do you think there would be uh, value into looking around the area and trying to figure out where they came from, or should we just go? Well, that's up to uh, that idea. Yeah. Looks at I them. always like looking around. <laughs> she says, there's nothing that I know of that's special about these tunnels, but uh, I, I, like I said, I imagine those wraiths had to have come from somewhere. Uh, how do you suppose we can find a source? And she says, oh, uh, I imagine we can't track them like we could a normal creature, but maybe if we just spend some time searching the area, we'll find something. Just these hallways. Personally, I think we should continue um, trying to get to our main goal in the Dwarven Ruins. Who's the party leader in this group? Like order like an order i usually just i'm usually in the front no no i mean like who usually makes the decisions because i mm-hmm. guess you i mean you could take a vote or something or you could just have gnarl make a decision i mean it's kind of up to what the group want what you all want to do you want to take yeah. a vote I think that, that'll be for the smart people i'm uh, you guys decide i let the smart people make the decisions barrett what, what would you like to do along uh i i'd be down to look around that sounds pretty cool all right if you're down to look around then i shall as well so it's about yes, the right. yeah. adventure okay so the group's Perhaps, gonna uh, go ahead Perhaps i slap on some protection that's a great idea while we're collecting the essence you can do that we already did so alright uh, so did you all explain to Jasper what you're all doing down here or is he just sort of uh, coming down here with you uh, uninformed of that I mean I would just assume you know they're adventurers this is a dungeon that's just what adventurers do yeah he's kind of uninformed um, at the moment <laughs> he's just been kind of following along uh, alright fair enough uh, so, Lokun, you're going to take 10 minutes? Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, to search the area, uh, kind of these hallways, I'll say you could probably use, and you got attacked probably around the halfway point, so you're probably about here right now. Uh, to search this area, you could use uh, probably either... Uh, survival or maybe knowledge nature to look for clues. 
I'll take up to two rolls from the group. I'll do one. I'm pretty good at survival checks. All right, so you're going to use survival. And, and the other ones, you said a knowledge check? Uh, you can uh, use nature. either or. No, uh, either nature or survival, but like I said, two rolls from the group. I could uh, roll nature for the party if we want, if nobody else. Uh, yeah, feel free. Oop, maybe right. I should uh, so you spend about an hour looking around down here, uh, exploring these halls, but so far you haven't found anything. It's now about 7 o'clock in the evening. What do you want to do? Uh, let's move on, then. I'm game for... Let's let's keep going. All right. Yeah. So you unfortunately don't have uh, much come of that little uh, exploration, so you just figure move on. All right, so the group would head down. Uh, I need another d20 roll. Oh, uh, Lokun, as far as magic, you would sense that this uh, most of these tunnels are imbued with a sort of preservation magic, which is something you've seen dwarven, uh, dwarven architects do uh, in certain time periods. Okay. Uh, but you don't find anything, like, specifically magical. Uh, so Elric, as the group is going south, you would find a partially caved-in uh, tunnel that seems to have a bunch of weird-looking mushrooms growing in it as you get close to the halls of Tarsus. Uh, nature might tell uh, someone more. Um, uh, yeah, anybody want to roll that? Oscar. Oh. Oscar's like, I don't know. Uh, well, Oscar would know that these are rare herbs uh, that can be used in crafting certain potions. I uh, wouldn't know specifically what they are. I'm going to pick, you, uh... I'm going to pick these mushrooms. All right. So to gather them most proficiently, you would have to make a nature check. Okay. Yeah, I can uh, make a nature check for you. Uh, and up, up to two of you again can work on it. Okay. So okay, Oscar's up to on two. it. So, Oscar and Elric? Yes. Oh, good oh, yeah. uh, nice. So, you managed to gather 100 gold pieces worth of rare mushrooms. Uh, you That's know awesome. that these can be used to make healing potions, but you're not sure what else they could be used for. Um, I have a collection of rare herbs already. If we want to just toss them in there, or you can keep them for yourself, Elric. Um, so, I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to give, a, uh, cool. give them to our... Um, Melody. Person melody. at the market, Melody. Okay. I think that's a great idea. All right. Uh, so you gather these, and uh, the group would make it back to the halls of Tarsus afterwards. Uh, so I think some of you don't have any of this mapped, right? So I'm going to, uh, those of you who do have it mapped, go ahead and pull yourself in at the entrance over here. Uh, those that don't, I will, uh, I think it, it's Eldrick and, uh, Jax who aren't, so I'll pull you two on. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay. I, I, I mean, I was in here last time, so. Oh, were you? All right. Uh, so I think that's everyone. So yeah, you come through the massive, uh, broken vault doors re-entering this dungeon. Real quick, how long does light last, Locoon? Uh, uh, the lights last one hour. hour. So oh, one hour. You can recast it though. Yeah, I will refresh it. Okay, so you refresh it. I can put on the owl actually. That's smarter. Or you can hold it if you want. Whatever you want. Whoops. War banner. So you put light on war banner. Do you cast it on? I don't know if you can cast it on creatures. I think you have to cast it on. Oh, uh, I take a like a piece of pebble like from this rubble here and light it, and then War Banner kind of hold it. Sure, you can do that. Uh, so you would see the remains of poor Spinderella still laying dead in the dungeon. <laughs> Just, okay, wait, 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 wait. Does, uh, to Toad, Toad, Toad looks at Cinderella, and Gnarl's just like, just, just ignore it. It's, hey, it's not important. Don't worry about her. I never, I know, I never loved her like I love you. <laughs> a poor, <laughs> possible uh, portent of things to come. 
<laughs> uh, do I need to re-equip my weapon, or, or should it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can... Um, I think your weapon stays on you unless it goes uh, more than, what, five feet from you? So you could just mark yourself yeah, yeah. as... I mean, you okay. wouldn't have it out right now, because, I mean, it would hurt your arms if you just carry it around everywhere. But you could say it's, you have it uh, on your back. I think it's weightless. Is it weightless? It's a, it's, yeah, it's like a spectral item. It's it's not like... Uh, uh, does it does it say that in the description? That is a good I mean, question. You can relink it, uh, the description, uh, and see what yes. it says. Let me, let me do that real quick. Also, um, I have some I thought it was more like a summoned issues. weapon than a spectral weapon. Oh, because... Uh, so you can take a magical item, and you can make it uh, into... Uh, the packed weapon yeah uh or or you can just you're basically you're just forming this weapon out of like nothing i think well my my uh my understanding was you do still like it it is an actual okay. sword forged like somewhere okay, yeah. uh that you're summoning ah. i could be wrong though if it says it's weightless that's fine we can go uh, with that how do i is that did that work uh yeah so let's see here for one hour ritual space it doesn't say anything about it yeah that, I, it's up to your interpretation it's whatever you want I'm not I'm not picky right. on it so yeah I'll, I'll say uh, you could still have it on you but you'd probably and that's the same with shields like I don't think you'd walk around with your shields in your yeah hand. yeah you're right you're right so I'm assuming Oscar and Lokun would not have their shields out right now really uh All right you, I mean, so if you're getting towards an area where you think there'll be danger, you could bring it out. But I mean, like, if you're traveling for hours, you're probably not holding your shield out because you would get really tired. Okay. Fair enough. I think we're in somewhere going dangerous. Yeah. So you could say, I, I yeah. So now that's that, that you're in the thinking. dungeon, we'll say you can take it out. Um, and you can draw your weapons too if you really want because, again, okay. this is a dangerous area. But, like, yeah, like, when you encountered the Wraith, you probably wouldn't have had your shield out. All right, so you re-enter this old laboratory. Uh, you still see the skeletons standing here, uh, completely uh, inactive towards you, just walking around. Hmm. I... Oh, they actually move? Yeah, every now and then, like, they kind of wander a little. Uh, does anyone have a passive perception of... 15 or over? Uh, no. I do. Yeah, I have does. Uh, so yeah. if you do, you would notice that there are signs of passage in this room uh, that were not here before. You think something or someone has been here. <laughs> Can we examine it and see what it was exactly yes so if you want to uh those who've noticed uh you can point it out and someone can use uh survival to get more information hmm Norlin, and oscar yeah, i guess here. i'm just Gee. gonna delete some which, of these uh dead things which direction they come from and which way do they go uh, so, Oscar, unfortunately, with all the footprints and signs of passage from your group, you can't tell much about what this was or where it went uh, with a 10. Sounds about right. I, um, I want to try something. I, I look at this skeleton, and I, I speak in abyssal to it. I say, I command you to move forward. Uh, it would just stare at you expressionless. Oh, oh well, I tried. Uh, so, Gnarl, you think that whatever came through here, uh, you can kind of tell it was something barefoot. Uh, you think it came from this door, uh, went over to this table, then went back out this door into the hallway. Someone's been here. They grabbed something. It looks like they grabbed maybe something from this table and left back through this door. Wow, you're really good at tracking. Yeah, I've been tracking things my whole life. Oh, it's 
see what it is. Then. Hmm. I'm willing to take the first steps here. Spirit. All right. So Elric walks out into the hallway. Uh, as uh, before, uh, there is a double door here, and you would see a double door to the south here. What do you think? Which uh, which way do we head? Uh, if you're following the tracks, um, Gnarl, the footsteps go this way. Hmm. It looks like no one has been down this hallway in a long time. Like, it's completely Gnarl, do you filled wanna, with dust. Do you want to hop in the lead over here? Yeah. Me and Toad will take care of this. Uh, can I search for... Oh, is that just a door there? Yeah, so there is a double door here. Can I listen at the door? Uh, yeah, give me an active perception check. Oof. So you hear what you yes. think is... It almost sounds like something moving along a rope that's creaking under the strain of the weight. Uh, sounds like somebody's hanging themselves in there. <laughs> Some kind of rope sounds like rope rubbing and using in my psionic speech here, not to make any noise. Yeah. Uh, do we go in? If somebody's uh, dying, so. I think we can save them. Well, let's not be too hasty now. I could use some vials of blood. Then <laughs> <laughs> I, I think time is of the essence then, huh? Do we go fast or do we go slow? That's all I want to know. Rush it. Fast. Rush it. Boom! I bust open the door. I, well, I mean, I'm not that strong, right. but I'm going to try. So you push against the double doors, but they are stuck on something. And is it a pull door instead? No, it's a push door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I get, I get towed out of the way. Who's tough? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got like Oscar. eight strength, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm a wiry orc. Who's ever is tough? Is there... I don't think, I think I'm really strong, huh? Might be as strong against that of everybody. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Look. Is it a strength or athletics? Yes, or it would be athletics to try to push this open. This is kind of funny. All right. Eve! Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, not a bad roll. So you hear some snapping as you push against the door. Uh, and you would see what looks like, uh, uh, the door is partially open, and it looks like the room is just filled with webbing. Really strong webs. Hmm. Like, really, really us. big That's spider webs. Fireball to burn them. Someone, can someone just burn the webs? Yeah, 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 yeah I can. I can do that. Or do we have a torch we can toss in there? Or do you Lasso want me to? Uh, Gnarl, what's your perception? 16. So looking through the crack in the door, uh, you would see in the southeastern corner of the room, looks like a wooden chest and a shelf with a bunch of uh, books on it covered in the spider web as well. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh spider webs. Let's Let's get this open. A firebolt in there? I think so. Ancient, ancient books are calling my name. Uh, give me Dude, does me. anybody besides Gnarl know that there's ancient books there? So, oh, do we not? Okay. This has not been yeah. right. Yeah. Gnarl. Yeah, I'll, I'll mention what I see. Yeah, I mentioned what I see. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, Lokun, give me an intelligence check. All right, so you're pretty sure if you set the webs on fire, it'll probably destroy the books. Ooh. As well as possibly the chest. Do that. We got, uh, guys, uh, don't want to be too reckless in there. Some, some, uh, could be some valuables. Well, who's got a sword? Can more than one person try to knock down the door? Lyra says, I would hate to burn some ancient book that could have some uh, secrets in it. 
I was thinking the same thing. Can uh, I push on Loc can I push on Locoon as he's pushing on the door? <laughs> yeah, I mean so you can make another athletics check. Uh you did get it open a little um, bit. Will, you think with some more pushing. I will also inspire you. I'll try All athletics right, here. So Ooh, Jasper one, two, three, push. Jasper gives yeah. you some who are you inspiring? Locoon or uh yeah, I guess Locoon is probably stronger. Right, so no, you, no, no. Locoon's the Locoon's the, the strong one. So you spend, it just looks like I'm helping. I'm not doing much yeah. at all. Yeah. All right. Um, I then I'll inspire Locoon. All right. So Locoon, uh, you are given so some get a inspiring words from Jax. Uh, Twenty one. Oh yeah. So there's a loud ripping noise as some of these spider webs snap and the door flies open. Damn. Uh, now, Thanks. Thanks, let's see if this works. It did. Nice. Uh, all right. So the door flies open, and immediately you hear loud chittering coming from above. I Damn. need initiative rolls. Spiders. Finally, rolling decent here. <clears throat> Terribly. There we go. I think those sounds are for you, Gnarl. <laughs> hey, giant nice spiders. Thing. Too bad you didn't have Spinderella this time. To parlay. Oh, she can okay. talk to giant her spiders. people. <laughs> uh, so, yes, they are rushing down at you. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of them. Holy um. Uh, so, uh. Would it be too late for me to use my spe speech of the woods to try uh, to talk to them? You could after. Or do I have to wait for my turn? You'd have to wait for your turn because you cool. didn't know they were coming. Yep, yep, yep. That uh, makes a lot of sense. So, uh, the first one to act as these. Skittering creatures descend upon you is Locoon. What are you gonna do, Locoon? Gonna... So they're coming down the spider web as long as along the walls and ceiling. Uh, the ceiling, by the way, is about 15 feet high. <clears throat> well, uh, Locoon is gonna make a kind of a spiraling gesture in the air and uh, he touches his component pouch. And uh, uh, a twisting pattern appears in the middle of this room. Uh, I'm sure it covers the entire room. All right, uh, so that hypnotic is pattern. a hypnotic pattern. All right. So there is a flash from the pattern uh, forcing wisdom saves from all of them, yes? Indeed. All right. C14. Are you giving these spiders seizures? Yeah. Okay. Where, where are you? It's like a, it's now like a German techno. <laughs> like what the? Dex, right. this is uh, inspiration for your next beat. There you go. Yeah, wh where are you casting it? Because it applies to us as well, right? Uh, it would. Uh, so yeah, but go ahead and drop the AOE uh, where you're putting it, because I think it's a, is it a twenty or thirty foot radius. The 30-foot radius, 30 foot and you want a template for it. Uh, so unfortunately, yeah, no matter where you put that, that is going to affect Gnarl and Locoon as well. Uh, uh, it's a it's a cube 30-foot, so... It's, it's a 30-foot cube, so... Yeah, so even if you put the very back of the room, uh, it would still go up to you. I actually have to fill the entire thing? Right? You it's, have isn't to... It, like, centered? Uh, 30 foot cube within range. Um, I think it's worth a shot. Uh, uh, so I'm assuming you can't put the cube in the wall. So I think uh, you would have to target the two of you as well, unfortunately. Oh, Can I move back before I do that then? Uh, sure. Sorry, Gnarl. <laughs> I it's fine, Darl. I got you. Oh my! Uh, am I also? Uh... Yeah, you're in the uh, the disco lights. Range of it. Yeah, yeah. What do I got to roll? Uh, 
Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, DC 14. Brrr. Dazed. <laughs> what? Those the... are pretty lights. So pretty. All right. So yeah, you are feeling dazed. <laughs> Hang on. Why is this not whispering? Let me try again. All right. So the first spider failed it. And he is charmed. Charmed and incapacitated, right? That's what the effect is. It's incapacitated. Uh, now it says on the failed save, the creature oh. becomes charmed. Charms. While charmed, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Uh, okay, so right. that both, yeah. Second one. So yeah, you are charmed as well, Gnarl. Incapacitated, <coughs> speed of zero. Uh, second spider is going to fail. So he is also charmed and incapacitated. Uh, third spider... Is uh oh he makes it fourth spider, oh mark yourself also is concentrating and the timer is on you. Yeah. Put the uh, stopwatch. Uh, fourth spider fails, so he is also charmed and incapacitated. Fifth spider. Oh, do I have the broken heart? You have oh. the broken heart. Well, he rolled natural one, so he is also charmed and incapacitated. And the six spider, apparently, wisdom is not their strong suit. Here's a uh, stopwatch. Would also. It's like the timer. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so everyone Can but I put one of them. On it? No, it, it'll do one minute, because that's what most spell effects during combat are. Uh, all right, so that is it for Lokun, and he seems to have charmed all but one of them. Uh, this... uh, guys, uh, I'll just say before the end of my turn, um, and I'll also move around the corner, um, but I'll tell them, hey, uh, can one of you guys shake Gnarl awake? Sorry, right. Gnarl. So the giant spider goes, but it is charmed. Uh, Baron, what are you going to do? Um... Can I see which one is charmed? Is it this or not charmed? So yeah, this one is still moving towards the group. Would it just be a hard hit? I feel like it would still do it, right? Throw a break. Uh, yeah, so it has moderate cover, plus three to AC, but you could definitely attack it. Uh, then I'll use steady aim as a bonus action <laughs> to get advantage. Uh, Alright. So you send a dagger at it with steady aim. No worries. Uh, 24 would strike with your psychic blades. And you do 15 points of damage as the creature bleeds from its eyes from the psychic damage. Uh, it is wounded. I'll be all. Alright. Uh, this giant spider goes, but he is uh, charmed. Uh, the owl goes. Uh, can the owl poke at Narl to wake him up? Uh, or break charm? I don't know uh, if he's strong enough to do that. Yeah, sure. That's what I would want yeah, him to so do. The owl flies fly over and uh, wakes him up. Uh, the spider goes, it is charmed, Gnarl. So I'm awake? Yeah, so the owl pecked you in the head a few times, and you're like, oh, what okay. the... Ah, ah, can we, uh, I've... What was, what was that? I shake my eyes, I'm like, can we make friends with them still? Uh, does one of them look wounded? Oh, shoot, one's, one's been wounded. So Barrett threw a psychic Damn. dagger at one of them. Damn. Uh, okay. Um... Well, I'll try. I'm going to try ammo handling, see if I can, uh, Calm as an down. action. Uh, yeah. since it was and, wounded, I'm going to give you disadvantage on this check, but go ahead. Okay. Disadvantage. Ouch. Right. So it is freaked out from getting hit by your group and is uh, not responding well. 
Uh, so okay. yeah, it still seems hostile. Anything else? That was your action. Uh, I'm just gonna move in. That's it. That's the end of my turn. All right. So that giant spider is charmed. Uh, Jasper, what do you want to do? Uh, ooh, can I see? Is this the uh, the one that is not charmed? Yes, that's the one that's skittering uh, kind of towards uh, your rogue back here. We just threw a psychic oh, daggers right. at him. Gnarl, I really wish you wouldn't have moved there. Okay, sorry. Looks like <laughs> Gnarl is trying to calm them down. Like using uh, his animal Very knowledge. Okay, um, I would just say yeah, calm down you little shit. Uh, vicious mockery again. Uh, which one are you attacking? The the only one that's not sharp. Okay, so it makes a wisdom save. All right, it would fail, taking five points of damage, looking very wounded now from all the psychic attacks. Uh, Elric. All right. Um. So okay, how does it work? When, for instance, I go with like scorching ray or burning hands. So burning hands. Yeah. Um, is is gnarl gonna be in in the way for that? Is he gonna get hurt if I use it? Uh, well, if he set the webs on fire, he'll probably get burned with all the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just, books. Uh, yeah, I don't want to yeah. lose the uh, the books and the other. I was just thinking. Um. Okay, I guess we're just to go with the old trusty uh, Eldritch Blast. Uh, I want to use one on this guy, and then one on this guy. Alright, so you fire off two Eldritch Blasts. Alright, and let's see. Here they are. Uh, so the 16 would strike the first one. Uh, another 12. Wow. I think you've rolled all 12 tonight on damage. I, I have. It's very crazy. All right, very so weird. this one is splatted by the blast and falls down dead, twitching. Uh, the second shot would miss and just hit the web over here. All right. And that's, uh, that's all. All right, so that spider goes, but he is dead. Uh, War Banner. Uh, War Banner is... Uh going to well, tell him to fly over to one of them and give advantage against one of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so he flies over distracting. Uh, give me a deck save. Oh yeah. The webs? Yeah. So War Banner's decks. Give me a second. Alright, so he manages to avoid the webbing, uh, distracting this one here and giving advantage to the next attack. Uh, that's it for War Banner. The spiders go. Uh, they are just gonna. Well, that spider is still stuck. Oscar. Uh, just double checking with the charmed spiders. They can't do anything. Their movement. Uh, yeah, so they're currently incapacitated uh, and charmed by Lokun. So me talking to them wouldn't do anything? Uh, me using I mean, the words. you... Let's see, can you speak while you're Or do I know that? Uh, let me check incapacitated really quick and see if they can still talk. Uh, they're definitely <laughs> probably upset now. Because they uh, saw their friend die. Well, because they're under attack. Take actions or reactions. Yeah, so they actually can probably still talk if you want to try to talk to them. Uh, yeah, I'd use my speech of the woods and say, my friends, we don't want to hurt you. Let us pass through. <laughs> it's like running in the room just shooting a guy to death and be like, we don't want to hurt you. We're just... <laughs> maybe this has been a big misunderstanding. Uh, Alright, so... I'm gonna give you... You can Just use exploded one of their friends. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, you can use um, animal handling or persuasion at disadvantage uh, because you uh, did just I... attack them and yeah. kill one of them. Uh, could I use one of my inspirations to make that? Sure. A 
DM inspirations to make that uh, wash. Sure. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, so, what exactly wow, are you is... saying to them as you step forward? Uh, I am saying, uh, if you get out of the way, we will pass through peacefully. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so. We don't want to hurt. Yeah. All right. So the creatures, uh, even though you've killed one of them, they agree. They say back to you, uh, "Just stay away from our uh, webs. This is not your not your place. Go away." Uh, cool. Uh, I tell the party. I think we could go through there. Just stay away from the webs. Well, uh, their webs are all over the room, so you couldn't really enter the room without getting uh, stuck in them. Yes, and we couldn't get we, the items either. Can we either. get those, get the chest and the books, and then we'll stay away from the webs. Uh, can I ask the spiders that? Can uh, we get to the books and chest? Give me another persuasion, or, um, yeah, persuasion or animal handling again. Normal roll this time. Wow, look at that. Wow. Holy oh, crap. That's yeah. lucky. That is crazy. Guys, this guy's the spider whisperer, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he just he like wiggles his fingers uh, doing the spider dance. Uh, oh, we are over. Uh, maybe we should stop here and continue next time. Cool. Um, sounds good. Yes. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so give me whispers uh, for MVP. Uh, how do I do that one more time? Uh, it looks like this. Without the parentheses. Uh, so at the end of each game, Jax, we usually vote for MVP uh, for the session. Mm -hmm. It could be whoever you want, just can't be yourself. Okay. So just send me a whisper with who you think should be MVP. And the winner gets an inspiration point. Can't be yourself. I vote myself every time. <laughs> <laughs> I vote we twice actually for myself. A, I vote twice for myself. For you. You're a dirty liar. We voted liar. for you last time in... Yeah. As then should. That's very nice. I did not. Uh, I don't vote for myself. All right. So <laughs> let's see. Looks like uh, Oscar and Jax are the two who are tied. So you two give me a roll uh, D twenty roll. <laughs> oh no. There's some bad rolls. <laughs> All right. So Jax, you are MVP. Congrats. Congratulations. Uh, make, sure, uh, make sure you make an MVP section on your character sheet resources, and you have uh, now two of ten, because you start with one. Okay. What, what does that mean? Uh, Inspiration? So, on your sheet, there's, like, little resource trackers that you can make, right? Yeah. So Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. I, just, I thought it's just inspiration. I didn't uh, yeah, so I do inspiration a little bit different. Uh, usually, you can only be inspired or non-inspired, but I let you store up to 10 points that you can use to okay. basically gain inspiration. So you can spend right. a point to get inspiration on a roll at any time. Uh, so yeah, um, that is it for the evening. Hopefully everyone had fun, and I'll see you all next week. Yeah, awesome. Fun time. See you all, all Great game. Take care. All right. Thank you. Good Great job, game, everyone. guys. Have a good one. Thank you.